It's time for Twig this week in Google. What a great show we have for you. Gina Trapani is here. Jeff Jarvis is here. Mike Elgin is here with, a, as always, great Google Plus tips. I have the new Pixel C notebook. We're going to do an unboxing. Lots of stuff coming up. It's going to be a great Twig. You stay right here. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for This Week in Google is provided by Cashfly. C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. This is Twig, This Week in Google, episode 330, recorded Wednesday, December 9th, 2015. The Krampus is in the details. This Week in Google is brought to you by Casper, an online retailer of premium mattresses for a fraction of the price, because everyone deserves a great night's sleep. Get $50 off any mattress purchase by visiting casper.com slash twig and entering the promo code twig. And by Blue Apron. Blue Apron will send you all the ingredients to cook fresh, delicious meals with simple step-by-step -step instructions right to your door. See what's on the menu this week and get your first two meals free by going to blueapron.com slash twit. That's blueapron.com slash twit. And by FreshBooks, the super simple cloud accounting software that's giving thousands of freelancers and small businesses the tools to save time billing and get paid faster. Try it free at freshbooks.com slash twig. It's time for Twig This Week in Google, the show where we cover the latest news from uh, everywhere. The cloud, the Googleverse. Oh, look, it's Gina Trapani, her monthly appearance. So glad to see you, Gina. Great to be here. Hi. I am thrilled to have you back. Um, everything going well in New York? You, you ready for another winter? Actually, it's 57 degrees today. It's not. Yeah, it's not bad today, although my basement is a little bit chilly. But uh, I'm, I'm, you know... Already, I'm I'm already kind of like ugh, tensed up and you know breaking out the the big boots and everything. I'm ready. I'm yeah. ready for a tough winter. Well, you you as it turned out had the worst winter in decades last year. <laughs> yeah, so you deserve a yeah. break. Maybe it'll be a little, <laughs> a little bit. Better. Thank you from your mouth to, <laughs> <Knock on laughs> to the, the, the weather gods. Jeff Jarvis is also here from the City University of New York, BuzzMachine.com, and look at his new light. He shines with his book that light. That magic. That was a Kickstarter, huh? Yeah, I think so. Oh, nice. The Lumio something or other mini book light. Which we found immediately for 40 bucks on Amazon. Yeah, I, Chinese spent, I spent 100 bucks for it. So <laughs> <I'm a schmuck. laughs> I'll have mine any day now. Hey, look, it's Mike Elgin. Great to see you too, Mike. Great to be here. Uh, I have to, I, I sadly say formerly our news director and yep. uh, host of TNT, but Mike is uh, is back to his peripatetic ways. <laughs> but I'm thrilled that you uh, you will be here from uh, as regularly as we can get yeah. you in here. Um, Anytime. I love this show. Yeah, we love having you. I mean, I, I listen to every single word spoken on this show. And you haven't given up on Google Plus yet? <laughs> I passed 5 million about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Did you really? Oh, yeah. congratulations. Yeah. congratulations. That's a lot. I'm right under Ariana, Ari, Ariana Huffington. Well, you should be on top of Ariana. When they're, I, uh, that's, uh, that's trouble. Oh, that's both that's going both that way. So. And uh, no, but it's, it's uh, and you know, if we get the chance to talk about Google Plus, it's an interesting time for it's Google Plus. It's in transition. That's very much it. so. We lost yeah, another, we lost another uh, uh, citizen, uh, Danny Sullivan, announced couple hours ago that he's like, I'm done with Google Plus. Yeah, I don't ever, I, you know, I've learned that lesson. I did that w with Twitter yeah. once and with Facebook once. And that, it's silly to say you're done well, he, with it. He said he'll post occasionally, yeah. but he doesn't like the redesign. A lot of people don't like oh, the Oh, really? Redesign. Yeah. That's about the redesign. Yes. Yes. You know, I haven't heard, what did Scoble say? Scoble uh, hasn't been on Google Plus in yeah. ages, I don't think. Let me just well, see. He, he's, he went all in on Facebook, I think. Yeah. Uh, there's a, a group, though, I've never been kissed by Scoble. That's good. <laughs> uh, I'm a proud member myself. I didn't know that existed. But. Um, he's got 7.2 million followers, but that's Scoble. Sco that's the Scoble. That's the Sco Scoble number. Yes. Uh, two days ago is his last post. He doesn't. He's not act super active here. Yeah. Then three weeks, two weeks. Yeah, he's not super active. Um, in fact, this the only thing he's posting about looks like is his email newsletter. Yeah. He's a Facebook guy. Yep. And one of the things that that I'm going to be writing a, a, you know, hey, I just passed 5 million followers post. And um, one of the things that's interesting is Lady Gaga's coming up on 10 million followers. Wow. And that a, 
a geek like me can get half as many followers as the number yeah, one yeah. user who's not a celebrity. On Twitter. Yeah, because it, it's it's a testament, I think, to, to a certain extent, of the fact that it's not a fluffy, yeah, celebrity-driven yeah. social network like all the other social networks. So there's that. You're also Does using. Does that not post? Uh, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. There's yeah. another, there's yeah. another about, statement uh, there. Kim Kardashian. <laughs> it, it'll she? be up in a few hours. Yeah. Uh, Kim Kardashian, does she post? I don't know. I don't know. Is she on there? You know what? Mike also has four collections. Uh, uh, more, have, maybe more than four. I have more than that, yep. But I'm, and, it um, turns out following them, all of them. So that's that's great. Yeah. And so it's food and technology and... And know, the Department I, of Dumb. Department of Dumb <laughs> is one of... I love that one because any <laughs> stupid thing I find, I throw it in there. And if you can't... Stomach stupid things, and you know you don't, don't follow, follow the Department of Dumb. Like yeah, yeah, but it's it's a it's a it's in a weird place. I think that it has a future as an alternative to Reddit slash Pinterest. Yeah, and does not have a future as an alternative to Facebook or Twitter. Um, but that's fine. It's it's a it's a it's in a weird place because right now it's for two kinds of people. It's for people who are really enthusiastic about something obscure or not obscure it's a great place for people who are you know to get together and do the original thing that people used to do on the well and all you know all the right. great uh, oh, social the sites you a member of the i well? was a member of the what well what was your uh, handle on the oh, well i don't remember i have no because <laughs> you know people like three letter handles they yeah. were very uh, short handles but it was kind of exclusive it was there were a lot of great heavy conversations and there's there's a lot of that in google plus and yeah. then there's this universe of English is a second language. Yeah, that's They're a little not weird. Participating. Well, they in participate Google. in a strange way. As you mentioned last time you were on, they, they say of, hi. They say hi. Yeah, or something yeah. like that. Or, you know, they're I feel like those are maybe budding spammers. I think it's because Google pushes Google Plus internationally and then people join it on their phones and they don't really they haven't really Yeah. They don't get the culture. They don't understand. Yeah, exactly. And they're, yeah. they're on low bandwidth uh, connections right. maybe. And, you know. This is not for low bandwidth. No. I, I'm happy if Google Plus finds an, a, uh, a niche. I'd yeah. be very happy. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Look what I got. <clears throat> I got a big box. Huh. And it, and it came from the Googleplex. So I figure either this is a Christmas gift from uh, Larry Page. You know, this actually could be. I still haven't gotten my Lego... My Lego from Google Fi. So it's either... It's awfully big. It's either it's Google, a Google Fi, Fi Lego, Lego castle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this, would be an over, this would be overkill on the box. Or... Let's see. I'm so excited. Oh, it's a really fat Pixel C. It could be a... Oh, oh it oh, actually... Oh, Pixel oh. C keyboard. Oh, oh you did oh, get it. Oh, you, you jerk. I ordered hey. it at the same time as you. You, you ordered after it after you. me. But I did uh, expedited shipping. So did I. So it'll probably, it might have probably appear. Is it in the brick house? Uh, no, I think. Did you have one yesterday? Ron no, my, no, we didn't have one in studio, okay. no. So this is the first one. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, a lot of the Google journalists like Ron Amadio got uh, review units. But, you know, in Gadget, The Verge, mm -hmm. they, they didn't, they weren't crazy. Ron weren't crazy right. about it. They said there were hesitation, there were issues. And I'm wondering, sometimes you get pre-production models with the review units. You don't yeah. get the production model. So I'm hoping... That the production model won't be. Uh, Boy, mine's mine's out. Uh, mine's. You're going to get yours Chicago. during the show. I'm I can't believe I got this this fast. I'm excited that it can oh. be used as a fridge magnet. There's so many <laughs> magnets in it, you can just <laughs> stick yeah. it on the fridge. Apparently, they're very powerful too. Yeah. And you know, we'll see how long it takes me to get used to the uh, weird dance you have to do to to, to mate the. Because I got the the magnetic keyboard. You, Jason, got the portfolio. Yeah, really? I, I think I probably got the got the, the wrong one. Wrong one, but. Yeah, you yeah. did. Yeah. This is the one that does the uh, magnetic dance. Yep. Oh, I'm Tiny so news. jealous. Oh, and the coolest the feature, the one that For I, once. the feature I wish everybody would copy on this uh, is the fact that it uh, wirelessly charges the keyboard when it's stuck to the tablet. Well, you know what's interesting about Apple's so cool. uh, Pogo pins is they don't even bother charging. It just powers yeah. the keyboard. Right. And that, the, but that's how the Apple Pencil should charge. It should yeah. just stick to the side and charge. Wouldn't that be nice? It'd be great. Yeah. Easy for me to say. Uh, oh, Break in the shrink wrap. There's something so exciting about just opening up new boxes. I know. It's Christmas came early for me. Yeah, you see, there, there was a story in the New York Times about unboxing as a marketing phenomenon now for all kinds of brands and They're how happy they are. They're late on that. Yeah. I hate to say yeah. it. I think unboxing is over. It. But I think, well, I think it's be gone Unboxing is the new business. thing and the New York Times is on it. Let's get started. <laughs>
plug. Get, oh, it's a kind of fine print. And, wow. and, and one whole column is in French. Two. Let's do that one. <laughs> Avis de sécurité concernant la chaleur. Um, so there's the plug. This is uh, Type C, of course, right? Yeah. Yep. 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 And uh, you want to plug that in, John? I don't know if I'm going to need it. Usually these things come with enough juice that I can just turn it on. People have said that it reminds them a lot of the uh, Pixel, the Chromebook Pixel and its styling. Let's take a look. Yes. Which was what I like about it. It still I says would processing. I'd love this more if it was, in fact, a, a, a pixel. Chrome Jason, pixel. you just, you know. I, well, I'm trying to figure it out. Like, you, you orders your yours a good. After you. A couple hours after me. Yeah. Is it the Folio keyboard that's part of my package? Yeah, you got uh, the Folio and I got the Pixel. That is throwing it off. I, I don't know, is. Jason. I ordered the, the, the official keyboard. And yeah. <sighs> I, I could be. That was my mistake. I'm sorry. You can have this, though. No, no. I'll give this to you. It's cool. This is going to be here today or tomorrow. I can wait. All right. So it is kind of pixely. It's squared a little bit with some mm -hmm. rounding. Metal, metal back. Yeah, it's that same color. Oh, it's even so what, got the... Uh, it's got the yeah, fancy they, pixel they light. Yeah, the light. Yeah. Kind of... What uh, ports? 8 megapixel so, camera, and it's a Type-C port, on-off switch... So I don't think that's, that's a light on the back. Oh, yes, it is. A a, well, no, no, they got to have a headphone jack, headphone don't they? Jack, but that's it. It's kind of oh. like the Apple MacBook. Right, it's me... very square. It does look very pixely. Yeah. yeah. I, my brain is still broken on trying to get the Android running on this this thing. Well, the knock, the knock really was that Android just doesn't have the tablet apps. Yeah. And uh, that this would be fine, but it doesn't do what you really wish it would do as a laptop replacement, which is... Uh, multi windows, right? Even right. though that is apparently built into Marshmallow, there's code in there. We just they haven't turned it on. See, I think this is going to be a machine that next year will start to start to really live up to its yeah potential, right? But who who is this for? What market is this for? Schmucks <laughs> like me, <laughs> Google fans, Tra right? Traveling traveling writers. I actually think that's a that's a legitimate right because Jeff, like you're a huge you're a huge Chromebook fan because you yes. you travel a bunch right. and you write. And I watch and I watch movies in my seven inch. This, this stops me from having to carry my seven inch and my Chromebook. It'll be a lot lighter. Uh, my office, I'll still use my big Chromebook. But but when I'm for briefcase, my hope is this is my briefcase machine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the thing that people said was tricky. <laughs> you kind of have to lay it down. No, put it put it down. I've seen. There's a video of it. There's video. It shows you slide tablet to the side. Flip tablet over. So I just put it on here to start? No, that's not to start. That's to close it. Okay. To, to then, do that. To do this, you slide it to the side. Uh, maybe I did it wrong. Let's do it this way. No. <laughs> All right. This so is far, the way so the, good. This is the, the way the magnets want to go. Slide tablet to the side. To, oh, to yeah. break the magnet. Right. Flip break the, the magnet, tablet right. over. Touch it to the back of the keyboard. And then and it there. snaps, oh. and then pull it up. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, I like oh, nice. that. And by nice. the way, multi-angle. Yep. Um, which is, I think, really good. That was something it took at Microsoft a while to understand, and Apple still doesn't understand. It says, uh, type the pairing code, 474271. Am I not Why getting... did they bother with that? Yeah, it's an old old Bluetooth habit, right? But I don't. But maybe it's not yet... Sorry. Don't want to keep it it's, it's really on there. Yeah. I mean, I think I must be oh, yeah. doing it right. How's the build quality on okay, what you've seen so far? That was it. Right, let me Pretty just... solid. Um, yeah, it feels looks great. good. Here, you be the judge, Mike. Yeah. yeah. It's top heavy, which is the same problem Microsoft had with the Surface Book, which is that the top felt heavy. Right. It's, it's, the build quality is great. It, it feels very much in the league of a Chromebook Pixel. You, can yeah. you one hand um, the keyboard? What's that mean? Like, like type can you hold, one? hold it by the keyboard? Just the keyboard? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah, a heck of a. Mike, turn it upside down. Since I don't own this, I'll just go ahead and. Yeah, you just so yeah. strong. Yeah, nice. <laughs> bring myself to do it, but you can't. It's really on there. No, it's a heck of a magnet. It's like whoa. Yeah. Hey. Okay then. Thanks. Thanks. So I mean, it will as, actually as, snap to your refrigerator if you put it yeah, on the refrigerator. It will snap strong. to it and. And tightly stick there. Right, let me plug the. Uh, I don't need to, but I'm gonna plug the uh, the connector in. And then don't look. I'm okay. Don't look. <laughs> I'm gonna type the password in. 
Mm. I, I love how the pixel light kind of tells you what's going on, how it flashes red when you need yeah. battery. It just flashed yellow when you plugged it in. It, it's like it's a, a nice you know, subtle. Pairing hasn't happened use. apparently. Really? Yeah. Is the keyboard on? Is that an on off switch? <laughs> wow. You know what? That's okay. Let's let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay. You slide to break it. You put it over here like that. There's oh, no I other got, way I that get could this go. attachment. And then there's like nice. that. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I ordered the portfolio and then I canceled because I think we had decided yesterday. Yeah. You got to get this keyboard. Yeah. Yeah. Then press enter. Okay, maybe I didn't do that right. I don't know. Let's try this one more time. Pay no attention to the password I'm about to enter. I said. Pay no, Pay no attention to the password. Oh, 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 the password. oh sorry. There we go. <laughs> sorry, I was I was placing an order on the Play Store. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, Look, you, priorities, you guys. You kind of want that, don't you? Yeah. I now think it's, Jason, now it's I think Jason now should be able to leave his workstation for just a second and come over and touch it. I have to say, having used the uh, iPad now with a keyboard, which I didn't for a long time, it's really nice to have a keyboard. Yes. Yep. It makes a big yep. difference. Yeah. On-screen keyboards are not as good. That's right. Um, yes. And this, you know, this is, I've seen so many people use their iPad, like Harry McCracken, you and yeah. others who come in with this, you know, right. the Belkin or whatever. And um, this is nice. I mean, I I'm, eager to, I'm eager to, for you to type on it, uh, you know, a paragraph and see how you feel. Uh, your tablet needs to download an update and restart. Oh, you know, right. I wonder, yeah. though, if that's Security the update. thing that... Um, Maybe related to the problems people are having with hesitation and other stuff. Yeah, you know, and it's not a good time to come out with a device like this that has hesitation problems or other problems because the the iPad Pro is so good, the right. uh, the, 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 the the Surface, surface is, is so good. Really, it's in its fourth generation. You're right. It's and, totally matured. Yeah, and 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 the whole problem of having a keyboard with a tablet is not a hard problem. Any, any Bluetooth keyboard would pretty much work with any tablet. Um, it's just a question of propping up the the tablet while you use the keyboard yeah. and that's not a difficult problem to solve so it's you know the, the, a lot of this is not necessary it's just kind of cool you know what upsets me about it what no well no lte yeah yeah that's it's odd, an isn't android it? device why the heck can i use well, cellular connectivity e even the chromebook pixel pulled no i don't the new one that really upsets me too yeah but I wonder if they're saying, well, we figure you all have LTE on your phones now. You just uh, hotspot uh, your phone. Why should you well, Why should you pay for two give different me that hotspots, option. right? Yeah. Give me that option. Because I don't because I have the AT&T Unlimited. So me thus, too. I have my Karma, right. which is great. It's very nice. But I got to yeah. get find the damn thing, get it out, turn it on. But they're 90. <laughs> yeah, Jeff, they're 95% of the way there. Just, you know, allow me to just connect via LTE and it's just a perfect experience. Just open it up and use it. Don't yeah. have to worry about I think they're just, or anything like that. I think they just don't want to deal with the carriers at all on yeah, a device like does? this. Yeah. So they're like, yeah, yeah not that's worth their trouble. Bingo. Yeah. Just, yeah. Well, we don't, don't want to talk to those guys. Yeah. I don't, now, by the These way, guys, programmers are not going to like this because there's no tilde key and there's no bracket key. So to make the key. Yeah, I know. You to have make to the, get it through a, uh, there's a, probably a, a command. keyboard. Yeah, there's probably a command. They just lost the Google employee. Well, market. yeah, I need the tilde key and the bra and the, and the square bracket. But who's going who's to program on an Android device? Right. Well, well Google, I want yeah. to. You could. Yeah. You yeah. could. I don't. There's no reason not. And that's uh, that's the. I think that's why people are upset that you don't have uh, uh, split windows and that kind of thing. I think people would really like to see these devices yeah. be. Full fledged, yes. At least as as full fledged as a Chromebook Pixel, maybe even more so. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Because you know, they got apps. The whole point of Android is flexibility. Right. And so why options. couldn't this have come with Chrome OS? Uh, because I think this is more capable. Because you have this millions app app store. Chrome no, does not have. Funny, that's the funny thing. The reviews complained that they're not the tablet specific. Mobile, the mo yeah, the mobile apps aren't good enough, and that right. and that you know in Chrome you had the best of both worlds. This is like a little laptop as it is. And if the OS would give you the, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, and I think oh, oh, you could make a case that Android is like a desktop OS, much yeah. more so than Chrome OS. I mean, it's a, it's got an app. It's got a huge variety of apps. They need to make the apps. And, and I mean, Gina, you're the expert on this. Mm -hmm. uh, it's completely possible to make apps that work both on a phone and a tablet. Yep. Yep. But they just, maybe there hasn't. I don't know. There just hasn't been a drive to do that. There's plenty of Android tablets. 
I mean, there's plenty of Android tablets, and, and Google like definitely pushes developers to do so. Uh, I'm actually I'm doing a Udacity, uh, the Udacity Nano degree for Android, and oh, tablet good. layout is in literally like is in this yeah. first section. Like yeah. they're they're pushing it. Uh, it's right, you know, it's it's actually before before Material. So um, you and know, then, just and I think introducing that basic concept of you've got these different screen sizes, and this is how you you have to design your layouts for these different screen sizes. Like in the wireframe phase, I think that's something that Google really is trying to. You know, get developers to do, but you know, I don't. I don't know. It it adds more complexity and some more code and some more layout issues to to each app. But it's not difficult. Florence Ion just uh, tweeted she's watching the Reddit AMA, and apparently in there they said Android and the next generation will feature tablet optimization. But that's. I mean, when is that? That's a year off. Yeah, we'll hear about it in a couple of months at I.O. Yeah. Wait, the, and it'll the next, seem not so far away. Say that again. The next version of Android will feature and, tablet options. And as in... Oh, you know, and gotcha. Year, I'm guessing else. it's going to be Jeez. Nutella. 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 Oh, it should be Nutella. It's not. It should Nougat. Be. That's a brand, though. Yeah. Well, they've Nougat. done it before. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, no caps lock. It's replaced as it is on the Chromebook Pixel with a, a search button. That's how it Well, that be. I hope you can you can just change. I hope. Well, do you sure. want caps lock? I guess you write a lot. You might want. Oh yeah, I want caps lock. I, Especially I you, it on Jeff. The I have another thing to say about <laughs> light song. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. That's that's my 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 impression of Jeff Jarvis. Uh, but no, you probably do more. Ingram. <laughs> uh, all right. Anyway, there it is. That's a little unboxing of the uh, Chromebook Pixel. Uh, the key, maybe the one of the reasons the keyboard didn't respond right away is because it does have to get juice. So maybe it hadn't yeah. gotten enough juice. Uh, it's updating right now. This is a strong magnet. I, it's much stronger than I ex yeah. anticipated. I mean, this is this is almost as if it's a one piece device now. You can turn it upside down, and use it as a hoverboard if you have a metal <laughs> yeah. skateboard park. Or you could put your book light inside it and yeah. have it flow <laughs> from within. Um, I like it that the angle is variable. Yeah. Oh, but you do pry it off if you go too far. That's okay though. Um, that's pretty cool. You can go that flat, completely flat. I wonder how that whole hinge thing and the magnets and everything are going to be in two years how or three years. Yeah. yeah. Well, so when you want to just watch it as a tablet, how does the keyboard stow? How does that work? You take it off. Yeah, I know that. No, but you're supposed to be able to... to, to Put you it can either hand. use the keyboard as a case or you can kind right. of hide the keyboard so you can still use it as a tablet. Hinge. Boy, that is it. Feel how tight that hinge is. Jeez. I it's got to be right because you're touching it. Right. Jeez. Oh, right. So then I could, could I just do this? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's kind it's of a little fun. loosey goosey. Yeah. Uh, a little bit. The, but the magnets do kind of snap in, which is yeah. kind of neat. So you could do it like that if you want. I'm looking forward to watching a movie on it. I think it'll <laughs> do you yeah. lay it flat to use it? So this is the way you do it. You go like that and then boom. That's actually not hard. Yeah. All right. Well, it finally came, the Chromebook Pixel C, and maybe the reason it was delayed is uh, it wasn't ready, and it maybe still isn't ready, but they got to get it out. They said they would. Yeah. Yeah. It is pricey, too. I mean, yep. it's... Uh, it is. That's the that, thing. It, Who's going to buy that? Who's going to shell out that kind of dough? Right. 800 bucks. Yeah. I spent. Yeah. Yeah. For you, Leo, besides you, for you. I spent $950 on, <laughs> on an iPad Pro and it didn't have, without the keyboard. Jeez. So, yeah. I know. This stuff's expensive. The, the pen didn't come out yet, though, did it? Yeah, yeah, it's out. You, oh, did you yeah, Did you get it? I got the pen. Yeah, I like the pen. And then, <laughs> I was just showing this on Windows Weekly, Paul Therott recommended a $100 PC that you plug into the iPad, and now the iPad is a Windows machine. <laughs> <laughs> the same price as the pencil. Yeah. <laughs> for the same price you pay for the pencil, you can also have Windows 10. <laughs> It's a, it's only 10, 24 by 7, 16. Now, there's a small market. The people who want to run Windows 10 on their iPad Pro. But think about it. You could be traveling around with an iPad Pro, yeah. and it, it's not much bigger than a smartphone in your pocket, and yeah. that turns it into a full-fledged Windows computer. Yeah. I mean, that's you know, there's some reason you might want to do that. I don't know. <laughs> the, company, <laughs> the company's paying for everything. That's the reason. Because the company said you could. Right. <laughs> Well, would, that's an interesting question. Would this be a suitable uh, product for a company computer? If if all you had to do was email and you know on the road and surf and stuff, I, maybe it would be the Pixel C. Yeah. All loaded up, Android Android at work. The form yeah. factor is great for I a like tray it. table, a yeah. coach class yeah, no tray kidding. table. Yeah, it's uh, the that's screen cool. is a little yeah. bit forward. 
So I, I'm I'm liking it, and as yeah, everybody yeah. Uh, in all the reviews said, the hardware is great, superlative. Yeah. We're going to count. I want you to type. Yeah, you know what? This is like a real keyboard. It's loose. Yeah. Is here? You're the writer. Okay, let's let uh, Mike do okay. it because he's the writer. It's it, it it's not like the Apple the very quick, solid flat uh, keys. Mm -hmm. It feels like a real keyboard, doesn't it? Yeah, it's it's nice. You can get used to it. It's different. There's travel. It's different. To, there's a learning curve, but yeah, it's it's there's key travel. There are arrow real. keys. There's no trackpad, obviously. Yeah, yeah. It's similar. It's very similar to like an Apple Bluetooth keyboard. It's the same shape yes. of the keys. Yes. It's flat. I like that flat thing. So yeah. Yeah. Ooh, look, it's upgrading. Yeah, nice. we're getting we're getting yeah. the new Android there. Oh, 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 it's done now. Select a Wi-Fi network connecting. I guess our update is done, so I'll just uh, let it sit here for a while. And this can take a while. Is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. It's better than Microsoft. Microsoft on its upgrade says, don't worry, all your files are safe. Which makes me worry. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you? It's like, uh, I wasn't. So you said. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. You can trust us. Right. You, can, you tr can trust Everything's us. It's still cool. there. It's going to be okay. Uh, if you use another Android device, quickly copy your current setup. Yeah, I always want to do that, right? Just uh, I'll upgrade to uh, put all the... I got 64 uh, gigs. You know, you know. by the way, so I, when I switched to my new phone, the one thing that upsets me is it's fine. It, it, it moves all of the apps over, but it doesn't move my settings over. It's not the Google Plus app. Am I doing something wrong? Yeah, no, uh, I, I this have should do that. Minutes. Let's see. It says open the... This is a new experience. Open the Google app. Are you it's talking about app settings me. or are you talking about system settings, Jeff? No, that's the Google now. App right. settings. App settings is a feature uh, in Marshmallow, but developers need to get on board with it. So, A, you oh. got to be running Marshmallow. B, the developers have to program uh, to it, I believe, uh, to say, yes, Google these okay. these parts of the app can be yes. backed up. Say, oh, ready? Oh, watch this. Okay, Google. Set up my device. Ooh. Getting That's started. Magical. To set up your device, your phone's Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi data will be used. Next. Searching for devices. Apparently, it's going to see the Pixel C on the list. Hmm. And then I could just, I, uh, yep. Follow the on-screen instructions. Connecting to your... It took your me forever to find the Google app settings as opposed to the yeah, device Yeah, I don't know. Settings. When they say open Google, what do you mean open Google? It's always exactly. open. Exactly. It's all Google. <laughs> Life is Google. <laughs> the the actually, I think that's superfluous. I think if you just said, okay, Google, set up my device, it would probably do it. Yeah. But yeah I wasted a half an hour trying to find that when I got the phone. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? By the, way, by the way, I love this phone. It's working very well. But when I when I want to reboot it and turn it on, this case, the one with the, the fabric kick, uh, somehow pushes down the, one of the volume buttons just enough. So every time I if I just use the case and hold down the on off button, it wants to go into safe mode. Okay, oh. this crashed. Pull the case back. Trying again. Crashed. It crashed. Yeah. Nice. Let's try again. I'll just put it right here. It's, it's not the way you're holding it, Jeff? The case is actually leaning on the on the volume button? I guess so, just enough. And so, yeah, so it gets that, it gets, so it gets this frightening, horrible thing. This is no command. And Sorry, the broken something went wrong. wrong. Your case is holding it wrong. Yeah. This is not uh, encouraging. So huh. twice now something has gone wrong. <laughs> this Could, is one of those Google experiences that when it works, it's absolutely right. magical. And when yeah. it doesn't, you're like, you all lie. And it's probably because I have <laughs> some programming, compatible programming running. I mean, another program crashed too. So Don't blame the victim. I'm, I'm the victim here. <laughs> I'm blaming myself. It's okay. <laughs> well, while my, while my devices are trying to mate, let's talk about my <laughs> mattress. Yes, it's crashed again. But, you know, I know how to set up. What's funny is... I know how to set up a Google device. I don't yeah. really need to do this. Well, <laughs> it's which is worse, having somebody do it the manual way or having an automatic way that fails. So, uh, at the end, it's the same. You're doing it the manual way. <laughs> You're gonna. I'm gonna do it the manual way now, right? Uh, after being frustrated, you can uh, teach a pig to sing. Our show today brought to you by Casper, the online retailer of premium mattresses. And yet another great product, diser disintermediating the middleman, eliminating the huge markup at a mattress store, selling direct to you from the factory. The factory is a U.S. factory making a premium mattress, kind of obsessively engineered, bringing in latex and memory foam together in a way you've never experienced before. Because the memory foam is the bottom, so that's the firmness, 
but the give, and then the top is the latex, and it just works great. It comes in a box. This is a queen mattress in this box if you're watching the video. I opened I got. We got this at home. I opened it up. I was in my jammies because I thought, well, I got to try it out. Um, we actually, I ended up, I've been buying Casper mattresses for others in my family because they're really great. My son has one at college. Uh, uh, oh, Debbie's son, uh, our nephew has one. It's a comfortable mattress with just the right sink and bounce. And here's the best part. You don't have to try it in a store. You don't have to lie in it for five minutes and make that lifetime decision. You can get it home, free delivery, lie on it for 100 nights. And if at any time in those first 100 nights you say, yeah, it's not for me, they'll come and get it. They'll give you all your money back. No cost, no harm, no foul. It is really a great way to buy a mattress. I am in love with my Casper mattress. And boy, because you're getting it from the factory, the price is really fair. $500 for a twin, $950 for their biggest king size. Huge, huge difference because they don't have the markup. Um, Casper.com slash twig will get you 50 bucks off as a member of our audience. Some terms and conditions apply. For details about that, go to Casper.com slash terms. Casper.com slash twig. Use the promo code TWIG. Save $50 on your new mattress. Yeah, now now, now the... Thank you, Casper, by the way, for supporting this week in Google. Now the uh, manual process just started up. They said, all right, I get it. It's just not working, is it? So I'll do the normal thing, which isn't so bad. You log into your Google yeah. account. It has all my settings there. What was it we used to be able to get where you, it, it would do all that before you got it? Was that, a, was that an early Nexus? Like it was, that was Moto, Moto X. Yeah. Moto Maker, Moto yeah. X. That's right. That's right. Moto it would come like pre-configured for your account. Yeah. Yeah, that was cool. With like a script, with a desktop image that you pre-selected, and and have your and name have your name in it. Oh, yeah. that's right. They don't yeah. do that anymore, though. I don't think. I'm not do sure. They? they still have the Moto Maker thing. Mm -hmm. It's just all in China now instead of. Yeah, and I don't think you get the. Maybe you do. Do you get your Google account pre-configured and all that? Maybe you do. That's what Amazon does, mm -hmm. right? On your all your Amazon devices come. Knowing everything there is to know about you. Everything that you've purchased since 1992. Every, yeah. And your credit card. <laughs> which was weird because they sent us two review yeah. units that yeah. were pre-configured with my credit card. <laughs> right. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. It was we like, had a field day um, ordering stuff. It yeah. Was wow. Thank you, Amazon. <laughs> that made it a lot easier. Now, Light people, books for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> now everybody knows why there are 18 fires sent here. <laughs> But, you know, people are comparing this to, you know, the, the, the iPad Pro and stuff. But another comparison is with the Chromebook Pixel. And think about how easy the out-of-the-box ex experience is with Chromebook I Pixel. Know. Chrome OS Just log nailed. in. Yeah. Right. It has not nailed. Right. It really does. Mm. You know, that's I'm, a really I'm, good point. Yeah. And I fear I'm a that... I'm worried about this. Yeah, device. I fear that they want to emphasize the Android devices and not the Chromebook. But the, they got a great thing going with the Chromebook. They really um, do. I know we're probably going to talk in the show about Chromebook in education. Which well, is we can do that right now. They're huge, right? 50%. It. Yes. From, from, uh, from zero. Four year, from four years ago, the percentage was one. And now they've completely taken over that market. Huge for obvious success. reasons. If you're a school... You don't have money. You don't have a lot of uh, resources for managing a devices and all that kind of stuff. You're worried about security. Cro the Chromebook Pixel handles all of that just out of the box. We talked last the week about the EFF's lawsuit because, of course, EFF says with a Chromebook, you're logging into your Google account, um, and there's some pri and Google's yeah. storing your, the students' right. information. There's some privacy issues. You know, it was great because Matt Cutts was on that show from Google. Yeah. And he said, that, you know, thank you, EFF, for pointing this out. We're going to we'll make, mm -hmm. you know, I'm sure we're going to fix this. Um, but it is kind of, if you think about it, somebody's got to store it somewhere, right? Well, well, yeah, it's the cloud. It's the cloud. It was an attack on the cloud model, not on that device. I think that's probably the case, yeah. yeah. And, and the, so it was, I, it's really naive. It's really, and again, we love the EFF, but it was, it was, it came off as naive. Because how do you expect it to work? Right. You get hard drives for every student? You know, that we're past that. This is the cloud. That's it was, in it fact, is. the whole point of yes. uh, moving to Chromebooks is that, uh, yeah. was it you who pointed out? Somebody pointed out, that's the point. You can lose your Chromebook, right. log yeah. into the next one, and as you say, there's no setup. It's right. ready. It's got, it's got everything you need. Should I use a pattern, a pin, or a password? That's one thing this doesn't have fingerprint. Wish it did. Oh, Love yeah. that. Yeah, but this big a device, I think it'd be reaching behind with the fingerprint and all that. But you're right. I, I When I use my Nexus 7 now, it's weird that I have to use a pattern. Oh, I love it on the Nexus 6. It's just, you Yeah, know, I do too. It's great. I don't it's even, great. You don't even turn it on. You just touch it. 
And they're so yeah. fast now that it's almost too fast. Like, yeah. like you accidentally touch it and it unlocks everything. Yeah. Just. I guess I'll do a pin because I do a pin on uh, Surface and all of that and on my iPad. So I'll use the same pin. This keyboard's nice. It's a real keyboard. It's it's no a real keyboard. No compromises, really. Yeah. yeah. The hardware is very nice. Yeah. It is. So let's see. Restore from my Nexus 7, my Note 5, my Nexus 6P, last used today. Let's do that. All apps, 159 apps. Yep. So that's, this isn't so bad. And then you say, yes, I'm in on Google Now. I mean, this isn't terrible. Mm -hmm. You have to log what into your account. You know, it's not so different. And, there, and now it'll be restoring for another hour. And in terms yeah. of the multifunctioning and all that, you basically, since I'm used to operating only in Chrome, as long as I've got Chrome open on it, I figure it'll be okay. The only weird thing is that Chrome handles tabs differently in Android than yeah. it does as Chrome. And yeah. it's a bit, of, it's an irritating. And sometimes you can go to a Chrome tab and it will force a refresh of that tab every time you skip to it instead of just leaving it as an instance in memory, you know? Is it my imagination, oh. Leo? Or is that, does that logo look like a, a device with Donald Trump's hair? <laughs> it's a comb over. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, I love that. That's how you know it's marshmallow. <laughs> it's the marshmallow look. Um, the split navigation buttons down at the bottom. That's one thing to notice. Oh, okay. So oh. here's recents and here's home. That's actually a good idea. I've never seen a tablet do that. So the home is uh, the home and the back are on the left, uh, lower left corner and the, as it's in landscape mode. And on the lower right corner in landscape mode is the recents button. That's actually reasonable. Do wish it. There must be. I wonder. They they said in some of the reviews, yes, there are secret key combinations. Why secret? <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Tell me. Because like on the uh, iPad, control, shift, home. Control, H goes home. Um, I would love to see what the secrets are. <laughs> Doesn't do it on here. How about alt H? Oh, something happened. What's uh, that? You stumble oh, on a secret... Keyboard. Combination. What is it? It's the on-screen keyboard. But there's no <laughs> without keys. A B C emoji. It, it, it's the on-screen touchpad. Oh, okay. So touchpad? I have to choose. Okay. So I've chosen. So all right. So Alt. A. Oh no. Maybe that's just Alt. Uh, what? Nah, nah. Maybe when you're Actually, in the well, keyboard, Alt swaps you between will, emoji. You won't need that when you want emoji. emoji. So Alt pops up the keyboard. Okay. Okay. There you go. Uh, oh, I see. It pops up the emoji keyboard what? because there are no emoji keys on a physical well, it pops keyboard. Up whatever so. you've used right. last. Yeah. Still, there's something. Oh no, it goes to emoji. You're right. That's the default. There's something funny though or about a, a hardware yeah. keyboard no, that's weird. key key that pops up an on-screen keyboard. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it should. All it right, should I'm sending the you the keyboard uh, shortcuts, Leo. Just give me a oh, you found them? Yep. Did you use Google? Oh, look. Of course. Oh, isn't that sweet? How retro. These are emoticons. <laughs> I haven't seen those in a while. In case you okay. forgot them. Put it in the chat. Okay. So there's a secret keyboard. Yeah. These are... It says Pixel. Now, is that the... Well, it says Pixel C. Yes, it's part of Pixel C. Okay. So general shortcuts. Home is search and enter, unless you change search to... Search, enter. Oh, I guess because... Well, yeah. Okay. Overview is Alt and Tab. Search is uh, Google Now, which is nice. I have to update. I'm still updating. Search and then uh, Search Enter is Home. Okay. Oh man, you got to use the search button for everything. Oh, like search is the meta apps. key. It search is. is the meta key. Okay. So it op opens the browser. Uh, search in B. Contact search in C. Email search in E. Oh yeah, browser search B. That's good. Messenger search in B. Is the same as search and B is music app. They messed that up. Um, huh. Calendar app. No, they've messed this so up. So where'd you find all this? It's on that page. I sent. It's in the rundown. No, but Chat. I mean, I know, but, I, but I'm just asking where you. Oh, under general shortcuts. Oh, there's like a help. There's like yeah, instructions. Yeah, it's a whole page. Oh, it's oh. a whole page. So, yes. Okay, so it's not secret. It tells you how to get the brackets. <laughs> I was mistaken. <laughs> there's oh, a you dot, can dot, get brackets. Button. What's the dot, dot, dot button? Yeah, right here. What does that do? Actually, uh, that <laughs> plus O gets you a left bracket plus P. It also gets you pulls a right up bracket. the keyboard. Oh, it's like a in uh, scientific, <laughs> in scientific stuff. 
Well, then hit O when you get the bracket. So do dot, 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 and then O when you get the bracket. Dot, 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 O. So there's a key oh. dedicated to scientific symbols, but there isn't a key for caps lock. <laughs> Shut up. I don't know what I'm doing now. <laughs> okay, so if I do this and then O? That's what it says. At the same time. Yeah, bracket. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, no, that's right. Bracket, okay. Yeah, and P is the uh, right bracket. Yeah. All right, so that and, and one is tilde? No, that and one does something else. And then for <laughs> the Chrome app, it uses control as the key. <laughs> when I use that tilde, you got to really want it. You have to want it. All right. Well, anyway, nobody cares because nobody else has a Pixel C. But <laughs> <laughs> I guess to, we did find a new key. I didn't even notice that. But there's that. There's a weird kind of uh, dot dot an ellipsis key. Ellipsis yeah. key. Yeah. It's a mystery. And that key. pulls up scientific. That pulls up uh, stuff that. Oh, you know what that is? That's stuff that's not on the keyboard. These are extra things that are not on the keyboard. Is what that is. Hmm. The Pixel team went on Reddit this morning to answer questions and says right. what is coming. Yeah, see, I think that's all it re I would say that's all it really needs. And then you're just kind of at the mercy of developers. But it's getting hot. Is it? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, this is that new Tegra X1 uh, chip, yeah. which is, uh, it's actually, one. I think it's one of those weird chips that's got two mm -hmm. speeds, two mm -hmm. cores, uses, day-to-day -day uses a slower one, but if it needs it, it'll kick into high gear. It's also a hot plate and a uh, yeah. room heater. Yeah. Nice. This is a good, a good palm warmer. Actually, it's all right up on the left side. I like it, and I think this is. I'm going to yeah. use this. I think I will use this. Cool. Yeah, and I'd love to see split screen. So as you were saying, the Pixel is very popular in uh, schools, according yeah. to uh, the Chromebook. You mean the Chromebook? What did I yeah. say? The Chrome, not the Pixel, the Chromebook. Yeah, I doubt very much schools are buying very Pixels. Only private schools. <laughs> 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 yeah, more than half, uh, and this is uh, devastating, sort of for Apple, and really devastating for Microsoft. Uh, and it, it also and, says the Chrome OS is not going away. Right. That's right. Uh, it also has to be said, though, that the performance of the Chromebook in schools is a U.S. phenomenon. Internationally, oh, it's not interesting. doing that well. It's down in the single digits in some, some oh, interesting. markets. Uh, but killing it in the U.S. education market. Well, I think more and more schools want to do a one-to-one -one program. So they sit down and say... Oh, by the way, that might be what the Pixel C is all about. Hmm. They sit down and they say, all right, we want to do a one-to-one -one program. Do we buy a Mac, a Windows, mm -hmm. iPad, Chromebook? This is what this is. Yeah, the, yeah. Old, the old tablet versus laptop. Now you get yeah. this is a, That's what this is. And, it's yeah. not, and nobody's going to buy that, but it's a demonstration project to show right. manufacturers. Somebody quick make a cheap one of these, like that lamp thing. That yeah, this is actually too expensive, isn't it? For yeah, it is. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 That so one is so it's a Chromebook Pixel, but there but a Chromebook's two hundred bucks, yeah. right? So, uh, that's that's interesting because yeah. I think schools do want, um, I think they very much want tablets. In fact, it breaks my heart. Our local school district here is is doing a one to one yeah. program with iPads. Yeah. And they're just not. It's just a waste of money. It's just throwing away money. I, I, think. I think you're absolutely right. They do want tablets, but they shouldn't. They should want <laughs> yes a two hundred dollar Chromebook. Right. The keyboard and you know has a touchpad on it right. and all that kind of stuff. That's ideal for students. But essentially, what they're doing is they're caving to student demands. A generation yeah. of kids gr who grew up on smartphones. Not even students, parents. I really think parents are what determine this. And parents get all excited when they hear, "Oh, they're yeah. giving them iPads. That's yeah. so modern." Right. They're and preparing if you them, them for the future. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so get a load of this on the on the Pixel Help page. Recovering your Pixel C using a USB device is not supported. If you're having trouble recovering, please contact us. Oh no, that's not good. Mm. But that will. But that's like an Android phone. You can recover an Android phone, right? I mean, you just have to know what you're doing. I would think mm. so. Did you order one, uh, Mr. Jarvis? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. No, I'm pissed. I'm just like like Jason there. I'm pissed at you. <laughs> Well, they, they, maybe they, you know, they didn't send me one as a review unit, so they yeah. felt bad. Yeah. And they said, well, let's get Leo's out the door. Yeah. Go ahead. Would you see that one that says Jason Howell and that other Jeff Jarvis one? Put that aside. <laughs> Only, I mean, uh-huh. Uh -huh. why, why don't we go ahead and process that for a good 24 <laughs> to 36 hours before we change that to shipping? You're still processing. Question. Yes. It's still Did you pay for the, the top question. of the line delivery? Yeah. 22 buck delivery? Mm -hmm. I just thought of something. You can yeah. do Skype on a tablet. Skype is yes. on this. Can I do the show yes. from that device? Of course you yes. could. 
Is that problem device? is I've got to get it. I'm just going to bring a little router so I can plug in a regular USB headset. Yeah, and does I that device have any sort so of imagine, uh, plugged in um, Ethernet? Probably no. not that. Yeah. Wi-Fi no. only. So there's that. Well, no, but you can you can you, you can do Ethernet through through your little router. I have one of those. I have I have a. Well, C. yeah, but that's not that's still Wi-Fi. I wonder if the oh through the C connection. No, 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 no. no. You do this. I I bought one of these. Ethernet yeah, but I don't know. Does that work? We don't know. Yeah, it does. This is this is this is the C. Well, it works with a Chromebook. We don't oh, know no. if that'll work with the uh, Pixel. You got one hanging. Oh, I see. I bet it. I don't know. That's a good point. We will find it? out. We will find out indeed. But I would find out now if I had mine, but I don't. Uh, alas. <laughs> so basically what you're saying, Jeff, is Google has figured out a way for you to not use Google Hangouts. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Thank God. It's Microsoft's yes. alternative. Thank God. I, I love how dedicated Jeff is to doing these shows on Google, using Google All software Google. or and or devices. Yeah. By the way, the sound the sound last week I didn't listen to it, but when Matt and I had to be in the room without a headset, how was it? It was okay. Oh, okay. You were because you didn't complain. Usually you'd complain. Well, I didn't. I didn't have a choice. I didn't think. Oh, okay. All right. No. Yeah. People. Other people complained. The they chat did. room oh. complained. Oh, sorry, Jeff. It wasn't horrible, was it, Jason? I don't know what the final edit it sounds well, like. But I think all things considered, last week was one of those shows where such a good we'll show. take it the way we can because there were so many different voices. And, and Thank everything. you for it getting Richard so great Jingris. Yeah. Richard Jingris was great to have. Mm -hmm. uh, he, I, don't know, I don't know how he felt about it, but it, but it was a great discussion. Well, I don't. Do you, do you think? I mean, we kind of attacked. We were talking about AMP, Gina, uh, and oh, okay. I, and Jingris is, of course, as head of Google News, kind of spearheading this effort, um, and. But it was, was a great little, discussion. I was a little challenging. I thought it was. Well, I loved job. hearing you grill him because the, 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 so many companies like Google, Microsoft, others, they're so they're 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 optimistic about things that never work, <laughs> and they act like, oh, this Why is just all going to work just it? fine, and yeah. it's all going to be just fine, and nobody's yeah. going. No, it isn't going to be just fine. It's going to be different from what you're saying. 100% <laughs> certain that it's not going to be. <laughs> well, quite it was as funny, Leo, because somebody came to me, somebody who's implemented AMP sent me an email today saying, I just watched the show and Leo doesn't understand AMP. No, Leo's playing devil's advocate to ask all the questions everybody's asking. Well, what, I don't know. How do I, what do you think? Do I not understand AMP? What is... I think you understand AMP, but I think, I think you're more, cons you're, you, there were, there were, you're very concerned about... I think about you don't insight. understand AMP. <laughs> hey, no, hey, you. Hey. I understand AMP. You, no, don't, you understand don't understand AMP. AMP. No, you like you a, don't understand AMP. I want to be like Donald Trump because it's, life is so easy for him. Yeah. <laughs> just you just say whatever the hell comes into your mind... No then, one understands AMP. No one really no knows. No one. Yeah. They're stupid, yeah. foolish no. people. They made AMP. They're foolish people. You're <laughs> stupid. And by the way, and by the way I made a version of AMP that's way better. I'm a genius. I mean, I know I... Uh, he's got... I would love not to have any... Have to have zero uh, reflectiveness. Yeah. Zero yeah. self-insight. Zero... Just right. like confidence... Without any qualms at all. I mean, how, it is extreme. I think it's called having money. <laughs> Maybe I think I bet he was like that when he was eight. Oh, yeah, no, no. I think it's extreme. He had money was an eight too. So. He he has no sense of anyone else. It's all about him. Everything's about him, and it's just it's just pathologically narcissistic. But <sighs> I don't know. I think. I don't want to. I don't want to deprecate him like that. I think it's. It's. Oh, I do. Well, I mean, I want to deprecate him, but I don't want to. I don't want to. I want. I want to give him some credit. Um, well, to pull this together, I mean, companies are kind of. You know, it's their job to act like Trump, right? Like, so, like Mike was saying, you know, companies are just like, this is just going to work. I mean, that's right. their job, right? Right. And it's our job to question to say, them about it. Well, maybe not. You know? Right. Right. That's our right. job. You're right. Exactly. They don't have to do our job. We have to do our job. The problem is. Right. Right. <laughs> In many cases, the press no longer does its job, which makes it really bad. But the, but the, the, the issue you were zeroing in on was the perfect issue because it, is, it was essentially about how everything depends on Google servers working flawlessly. And by the way, remember when half the Internet went down, when a right. all the things supported by Amazon Web Services, when that crashed, that had a glitch, and there was like six hours where half the stuff that we used in... I don't even we, mind the single point of failure. I just feel like it's kind of a land grab for Google to say, or any company to say, especially a for-profit company to say, oh, by the way, everything's going through our servers and only... Well, we no, that's no, not no, how the Internet no, is supposed to work. They don't get any benefit off it going through their servers. It's not like... Why not? Because I think they're careful about that, because they get smashed. Um, they're giving you free, as, as Richard said, 
A lot of companies pay a fortune for their CDNs, and this is free CDN. Yeah, no, that's that's good. The company that should hate it. I feel like I feel like, is, I feel is like any company that comes along and says, "But this is free." Yeah. And this is a for-profit company, right. and they say, "But no, I'm giving you a free CDN." You got to ask yourself, why are they giving me a free yeah. CDN? What's in it for them? <laughs> right. Because but we will use the web expansionally more when it's faster. Yeah. Right. When I give it's, people it's, the AMP demo, they're amazed. Sorry, I'm changing. No, I mean, it's in Google's interest, right, for the web to work better, right? They they yeah. want people on the web. But, I mean, Leo, like, if that's the case, I mean, everybody should be questioning everything that Google's yes. ever made because it's yeah. been free forever. Yes. You know, like, I'm totally with you. I'm completely with you. Well, uh, but I, see, I, we yeah. get, okay, so Gmail, free. But Gmail's not free because Google just loves everybody and wants the web to work better. Gmail's free so that they can yeah. scan through it and give you better ads or yeah. ads that are, they could charge more for their ads. Um, it would be foolish to assume that any for-profit company, I don't think it, in this day and age you could say, well, no, we just we use, I mean, I bought this for a long time, just use the web more and we're happy. It's more than that. That's not enough to say that. I think there's always got to be, they have, they're publicly held. Yeah. They have a responsibility, a fiduciary responsibility to stakeholders to make money, not to give money away, not to give away services. Right. They're going to put advertising on AMP. And by doing this, by the way, they short-circuit oh, exactly. this whole issue of uh, ads and overactive ad networks. And basically, it's an advertising blocker that blocks all ads except oh, Google's ads, right? No, no. He dealt with that last week. No, that's not true. He said it's not going to... Uh, no. He said no. other ads could be in, the, yeah. in here. Yeah. The problem is... It's up to that's Google... Yeah. Whether that's true or not, yeah. it's up to Google's in charge that's of whether right. or not that's true in this right. in this scenario, theoretically. And the other thing is that you can't even quite compare in you know Inbox or, or Gmail on the one hand with AMP on the other because Inbox and Gmail that's a service you opt into and you you agree you, to the thing you don't read and all that stuff and it's a service it's on the end it's a you know but but AMP is like how the internet works. So it's it's a little different to be going yeah. proprietary on that stuff because I agree. You know, I, I mean, the, the the reality is that the, if you look at the history of the internet in the early days, nobody could make money on the internet, and so all the standards were developed in a spirit of cooperation and so on with the small number of people who were involved in that stuff. And now there are multi hundred billion dollar co corporations who all are trying to make tons and tons of money on the internet, and so we can't. It's harder to get standards going. And so the standards bodies, you kept harping away about how it should go through the standards bodies. Well, that's why. Because the, the interests at stake. I wish Fa you'd been here. You're Facebook, so much more Well, Facebook, you know, Facebook has their ultra proprietary standard for speeding up the internet. And, 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 and so Google's going to have and one. Apple and Apple does. And, exactly. Yeah. And that's not how it's supposed to work. Companies with billions at stake shouldn't be determining internet standards. Yeah. But then the standards process should be better, and it's not. Well, and so this is, this is what I said to the publishers. If Google didn't do this, we'd be here a year later saying, right. oh, pages are all slow and screwed up. But right. nobody comes to them and they're all installing. No, you know what? The market, by the way, uh, free hand, the magic free hand of the market, the market uh, has a lot to say about that. Yeah. That's why we have ad blockers. Right. The market's absolutely yep. weighing in saying, and and uh, you know what? I don't think that's a bad solution. That's what Google's <laughs> trying to save here. They're is. trying to prevent that. Right. They say, whoa, 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 better than ad blockers, we'll right. do it. Right. Uh, but you know what? The market is weighing in. The market's saying, eh, this is too slow, so we're going to run ad blockers. We're going to run script filters. We're not going to let you do all that crap. Also, who says there has to be a kind of Moore's law for Internet bloat? Well, if, if the Internet is way too slow, then why are companies d building web pages that are so slow? You can build them faster. You can build them. You, know, you don't have to ex constantly accelerate uh, the, the size of the page that loads. It, what, who says you have to do that? Right. You know, it's got to, it's got to, whatever the demand is that people are choosing, you know, the choosing. Well, that's the other thing that bothered me. I mean, yeah, I have a one megabyte background on my website, but I do that because it's aesthetic. It's pretty and people, right. it makes it a better website. I don't like the amped version because it's ugly and yeah, it's fast. And, yeah. but uh, I mean, it's nice that people could vote. I mean, it's nice to say, okay, I want the amped version or the non-amped version. Um, the vast majority of internet users will never know what AMP is or even know that it exists. Oh, no, it's Intel and Sod. Yeah. Right. Well, and that's what uh, essentially bothers me is they're saying, well, don't use the image tag. We'll do our own yeah. thing. Yeah. Don't use JavaScript unless we approve it. That bothers me. But well, that's, that's why they've, they've, got, they've got to deal with the governance sooner uh, I than quickly. So. Yeah, quickly. I think so. Yeah. But I, don't, I didn't want to bring this all back up again. But, uh, no. I, I, but I did want a report card.
because maybe I don't understand app, and uh, maybe maybe the things I brought up weren't. Well, well, I'll, 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 if you want, I'll ask that person to come on the show. <laughs> you can explain it. Yeah. <laughs> is it somebody who really knows, or is it just some? Twitter? Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh okay. Absolutely. No, really, really, really does. Oh good. All right. You yeah, will please. get amplained. I get amplained. <laughs> <laughs> Continued momentum for the AMP project. Google's going to send traffic to AMP pages in uh, Google to in Google search in February. Twitter's going to experiment with linking to AMP content provided by publishers early in 2016. Does that mean they'll link? They'll take a link that I put in and automatically amp it. No, they'll if if there's an amp version, they'll go to the amp version. That's what I mean. So if I put yes. in a link to an article, they will replace it with the amp version. Of oh, I article. see what you're saying. Yes, I believe yeah. so. Pinterest currently testing publisher amp pages in their iOS and Android amps uh, apps. Found that amp pages load four times faster and eight times less data. And uh, well, that's at eight times less data. That's interesting. Yeah. Well, that's yeah, and uh, certainly okay. the market has something to say about that, yeah. that we don't you know we know it was constrained bandwidth on mobile uh line viber and tango which are messaging apps will do what twitter is going to do link to amp content that mm -hmm. means i guess again translate you urls i'm yeah. not sure i'm thrilled about that um feel like if i put a link in it should go to the page that i linked to yeah. not a page that somebody says well this is the better one uh cms providers like wordpress are uh, supporting it as well. WordPress will support all publishers that wish to enable AMP pages starting in January. In analytics, Comscore, Chartbeat, Google Analytics, and Parsley will have AMP support in their tools. That's important because many analytics tools use Java, mm -hmm. use uh, uh, client-side JavaScript, mm -hmm. and AMP would block that. Right. So if you're going to use uh, Chartbeat, uh, it w AMP would make it stop working. So you'd have right. to provide a special AMP version of Chartbeat. Four key areas of the AMP project. Advertising, the initial roadmap for ads, faster ads, ads that can resize, support for viewability, integration with data management providers and sponsored content. Boy, it just looks more and more to me like this is the Google version of the Internet. It's to compete what, with the it's, Facebook it's, version it's, of the Internet. No, it's, but they're, but they're uh, I mean, uh, yes, I'm trying to carry Google's water here and not know enough about it. But I think this is their answer to the closed internet, which is Facebook. And this yeah, is them well, trying to make it that's open. Fine. Now, you don't have to use, maybe, maybe, two questions. If Google said, uh, okay, screw that, be in the CDN, we, we won't cache any content because it makes you nervous. Does that make you more comfortable? Because you can do that. You don't have to use Google's cache. No, I know they're third, potentially they're third party. I would imagine there'd be tons of those, right? Companies doing I think more um, it's about that Google's setting the standard. So Google says governance. which Java, it's yeah, governance. It's governance. That's, which that's exactly what I've said. I've said to what, when we were at these last two Google events where I was, I've, yeah. uh, I've said that, that you've got to get, and, and, and some of the really smart publishers said, you know, we trust you. We're glad you built this. This is good. Right. But, but, the, but the thing about governance, which is funny, is, is what works in open source, tell me if I'm wrong here, but what works in an open source project is it's not that, oh, I pick you to be in the governance committee. No. What works in open source is you're a big contributor, thus you have a role in governance. So we don't know who's contributing yet. So there's a bit of a lag, a syncopation there, but they've got to get people, and there's a lot of developers working on it, but but it can't be Google's hand-picked um, fellow travelers either. Yeah. Well, and yeah. by the way, this I'm, I should have said, this is Richard Gingras's uh, post from a couple of days back about AMP progress. They oh, say, oh. yeah, yeah. They say advertising companies that have expressed their intention to support AMP include Outbrain, AOL, Taboola, OpenX, DoubleClick, AdSense, Pubmatic, Integral, Ad Science, Moat, Smart AdSense, Server, Crux, Polar, Nativo, and Teeds.tv. I don't see AOL. I don't see uh, iAds, Apple mm -hmm. Solution. What about Yahoo? Sorry, just a little joke. Yeah, Yahoo. Yahoo. Well, what about Yahoo? I mean, they, Yahoo, aren't they yeah. still in that business, at least for a while? Well, uh, tick, 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 tick for another week. <laughs> what is going on with Yahoo? It's it's unclear because, you know, we saw that Wall Street Journal article that said, you know what, the board is going to meet and they're going to fire Marissa and they're going to sell everything off. And then we came to the conclusion on Twitter on Sunday, well, this is probably a planted post by activist Yahoo investors mm -hmm. who want this to happen because, of course, they want to get their money out. Part of it prompted by the fact that the IRS refused to say whether or not the sale of the um, uh, of Yahoo Japan and Alibaba assets would be a tax-free sale. 
Um, everybody thought it wouldn't cost yeah. him. Right. Uh, and then all of a sudden there could be a $10 billion tax bill. Oh, well, maybe we'll do something else. So they start uh, brooting about going to the Wall Street Journal and placing uh, stories saying, well, what if we sold the core assets uh, but now, but it's unclear really what the board's going to do. One thing that's happened, Max Levchin is off the board. He yeah, was, he I think, a Marissa Meyer a hire. So. He, she brought him in. So. Yeah. Former Peter PayPal Kafka, founder. Peter Kafka had a great tweet, which was old Yahoo plan 2 plus 3 equals 5. <laughs> New Yahoo plan 3 plus 2 equals 5. <laughs> I, mean, I think the difference is there, the, the, the board, everybody got nervous about the tax implications right. of spinning off the um, investments so the investments have to be in the core company, which they right. can rename the core company, like, you know, Gannett. It's all made up. This is like it's Alphabet. All made up. It's all made so up. So all it is, it's it, it spin off one, spin off the other. It really doesn't matter. And if you're a stockholder, you get stock in all right. the spin offs. Right. But the but the market price, they lost like a billion and a half dollars. In the oh, Lord. Stuff. What do you think? Let's talk about this. Um Gina, you're a huge. I mean, you were a Flickr user. I, I think you 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 had yeah. a, like me a lot a soft spot for Yahoo. Has Marissa Meyer been good for Yahoo over the last three years? Oh, that's a hard question. I'll be honest. I haven't I haven't been following. I think that she had a good start there for a while. I mean, from and I'm looking at this purely from just like a consumer product perspective. They they released a couple of interesting uh, updates. You know, new apps in the beginning. There was like a there was a news app. There was a weather app. There were a couple of promising new things. Flickr had a few improvements, and I thought, oh, you know, this is this is great. Like that, you know, Yahoo's gonna be part of my daily life again. And that didn't that didn't quite happen. I'll be totally honest. I haven't been following. I I, I didn't even realize that, that this was going on. I haven't been following the the store you know the, the board and the God, you have been busy <laughs> coding haven't you <laughs> yeah, well, yes i have i have i have so uh i just it's just less interesting to me <laughs> that part uh, so i'm not sure i'm not sure <laughs> what's gonna happen i um i think that the hope that we all had when meyer uh was installed uh, i guess to say was you know that, that yahoo is gonna have really relevant consumer products again and i don't i don't think that that's happened I think we overestimate the ability of CEOs to affect yeah. already large companies that already have an entrenched culture. And this is kind of like AOL in the sense that, you know, she took, I, I thought it was a good move for her because I don't think that if this fails, uh, which it was always likely to do, it, it's really her fault. I don't think it was salvageable. I think she's a very competent person. She She was very much using the Google Playbook on what she was trying to do, but she didn't have Google to work with. She right. didn't have the world of Google, the culture of Google to work with. She had what she had. Well, what Google, Yahoo has always done is they've always, um, since they used to have what people used to use, you know, the whole the whole model of, of having a, a portal, which was, you know, a completely defunct and now completely obsolete way to use the Internet. They've just acquired things. They acquire companies. They've acquired probably hundreds of companies. Tumblr was one point one billion dollars. Yeah. Well, that but see, that's what she came in and and in that culture with those advisors with what, what they had to work with. All they had left was right. okay. Let's keep buying companies. Right. And so, what is Yahoo? Nobody can answer this question because it's just a bunch of companies that for some reason are owned by one company. So I just think, I mean, I, I I'm on the outside. I'm not on the board. I'm not you know, uh, in the executive suite at Yahoo, but it seems to me that it's just over. Close it, sell off the pieces and just be done with it. It's the <laughs> so Yahoo what, what, cannot what, what, be turned what, what, into what's another. What's worth buying? Right. So, so, let's, so let's, let's forget, you know, Verizon buying the whole thing and putting it with AOL and this wonderful new graveyard. Um, what are the things that are valuable on Yahoo? Yahoo the Finance? weird thing is that when you, in, the value in Alibaba is about $35 billion. The, yeah. the va Okay, remember the stock market's valuing it, I haven't seen the latest, but around $50 billion. Yeah. $35 billion for Alibaba. Uh, what was it? $15 billion for uh, Yahoo Japan. The core business, six, they, by the way, the cash, they have considerable cash. Uh, mm -hmm. Make that $32.9 billion. So cap. the value, the market cap, the value that the market is assigning to Yahoo is less, less than, zero. than the Alibaba share stake in yet which to me i don't so i see already, a scenario I, this is like where, amp i don't understand it where <laughs> <laughs> i see a scenario where the alibaba stake becomes a financial vehicle and that becomes you know new yahoo one right and then that's <laughs> silly what, the, what yahoo will be is 
their stake in Alibaba and Yahoo Japan. Yeah. That will be what yep, Yahoo right, will right. be. Yep. And then there'll be the Tumblr the company stock. or whatever. Right, it's a tracking yeah. stock. Yeah. Right. And so then if you take if you take Yahoo functions, then what the heck, Marissa, go ahead, you know, whatever. Do whatever you want. Get any value you can out of it. Right. That's one way to look at it. Another way to look at it is to cut it up in pieces, which, you know, and again, so so what's valuable? Does Flickr, Flickr still Tumblr. have value? Yeah. Does it still have value? Tumblr has value. Yes. Uh, Yahoo Finance has well, value. Well, the question, though, is Tumblr's value equal to what they paid for it or less at no. this point? No. Probably That's not. That's hard to say. Yeah. But, but there's I, also, somebody raised this in the in the chat room, and maybe, Gina, you know from your programmer friends, but uh, there was the thought that uh, uh, Meyer had kind of alienated the engineering team. They're the good programmers left. She certainly, a lot of uh, uh, high-level executives, even some she'd brought in, left. And there were some very expensive departures. Um, I mean, listen, yeah. she had a nearly impossible job. She yeah. made some yep. controversial yep. decisions, like the work at home decision, which oh, not working from home decision, which I actually think was was reasonably justified. She's a hard ass in a good way. Um, she's a product person, so yeah. which is why I hope that this was this was going to be about turning Yahoo into consumer right. product, a consumer right. product, uh, you know, company. There was this mythology around her, you know, hand hand drawing the logo, you know, the new logo of the company, even though she's not a a designer, but like this hands on, roll per sleeve your thing uh, to be clear like i'm not i think that i i'm still a huge fan i think she's great i didn't mean to throw her under the bus by being like yeah. this didn't turn into the consumer product company that i thought it was going to be i think that the tumblr purchase was was right on i think tumblr i think tumblr is hugely valuable it's a, it's a vibrant social network of young creative people i mean mm -hmm. um I, and you know i flickr is, is used less but uh yeah i i, I mean she had she had a you know, a, a nearly impossible task to turn things around. You know, and I, I don't know, I, you know, I don't know what's, what's going to happen. But what the really impossible task was asshole investors. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> yeah. That's really the problem. They should make it private. <laughs> like Actually, Dell. that was one thing we talked about is that perhaps they could raise the money to take it private. Well, maybe get okay, Silver so Lake let's talk in about that. Marissa, I, I, I have, I, I, as long as Marissa's reputation is still good in Silicon Valley, which I think it is, Given that the value of Yahoo Core is, is greater is than the sum of its nothing, parts, yeah. Then what would it take for what would she have to raise to just take that private and be the CEO of that? Well, you sell Alibaba the share, and then basically what you could do no, no, is no, no, do no, an no, alphabet that, model and make that's it not private. What's going to happen, Mike? What's going to happen is Alibaba and Yahoo Japan stay as core Yahoo. They spin off old Yahoo, um, and and take that private. Without any value of the Yahoo Japan or or Alibaba, that's going to stay. That's that's what the investors are saying. We want that. That's the only right. thing that's valuable. So take the in unvaluable parts and can Marissa take it private? That's why maybe the board is not throwing her under the bus. Maybe maybe that's the plan is to say Marissa, yeah. you know, good luck. You can do anything with this. Great, and we'll own a piece of what you do. And you know you, you'll you'll pay us some some pennies on the on the on the negative pennies and fine. Their revenue is not. Horrific. They they have oh. they have revenue of 1.2 billion last quarter. Uh, they had earnings of 76 million mm -hmm. last quarter. You I know, mean, this is a profitable it, company. It's, a private, it's, it's not a, a failing private company. Equity play. It's a great cash flow play. Yeah. It's 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 yeah. If you were private equity, forget. I think forget um, Verizon buying it. I don't get that. But if 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 you could, if private equity could put up enough money to take this thing and leverage buyout. Uh, given the negative value, uh, I think she could then build stuff, and maybe you sell stuff. I think you're right about you're right about about um, Tumblr, Gina. You know, when I, I took my daughter's high school class last year, when she was there, over to see Katie Couric, as we're going up the elevator, they didn't say, "Oh, we're in Yahoo." They said, we're at "Can Tumblr. we see Instagram? Can yeah, we see Tumblr? Yeah. Can we see Tumblr?" Tumblr. But mm -hmm. is that still the case this yeah. year? That's the problem. This stuff is very temporary. Yeah, that's true. I am looking at the the net earnings from a year ago. We're six point seven billion this mm -hmm. year, seventy six million this quarter. So, yeah. so Oof. year over year, that's not <laughs> the revenue uh, was up, but the earnings were were down by a factor of ten. I mean, that's or more a hundred. That's a significant. Uh, so I can see why this maybe or maybe they're not jerks, but I see why the shareholders are a little nervous. I, I just yeah. think I, just intuitively that the concept of just buying companies and 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 get, going after the synergies they always talk about in acquisitions is a delusion. Yeah, there there are no synergies. It hasn't worked and, in and, a while. And some of these companies, some of these properties, and I'm looking at the Wikipedia page for 
Yahoo owned sites and services. The lo the list of ones they've closed is much longer, by the yeah. way, than the ones they still have yeah. open. The one they still yeah. have open is probably like four or five dozen Yahoo Sports, Yahoo Travel, Yahoo TV, Yahoo Screen, all those different things. Some of those are being carried by other companies. And I think that to the greatest extent possible, they got to stand on their own. That's the genius of Alphabet. Because what they're doing is they go, hey, well, Life Sciences, now, uh, uh, now called Verily, uh, or whatever. These companies have to live and die on their own. Yeah. And each of them could turn into a monster. And some of them could remain yes. tiny. And that's what should happen to individual properties that are not connected to other properties. And, Mike, you're right. By the way, some of Google's investments, you know, Uber and such, yeah. could, could go, could, could go uh, Alibaba. But th that's, it's, it's isolated enough. It doesn't overwhelm the value of the core company. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that's a really good point. And it doesn't yeah. tarnish the reputation, et cetera, right. et cetera. Part right. of Yahoo's problem is reputation. Everybody thinks they're old and busted. They're a dinosaur. And I think that an alphabet-style model, especially if it wasn't public for the you know non-Alibaba properties, would be could really work for them. Hmm. And I think, I think it's even a possibility given the fact that Marissa – is really in that Google culture. She's, you know, she really sees Google as the as the the company culturally. Mm -hmm. So, I, don't I know. like I like your plan. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's become hostile <laughs> make investors and uh, make it happen. <laughs> That's the problem. Though. Yeah, oh, right. anybody's got even a share of Yahoo goes, comes with right. pitchforks and torches. Let's take a break. Yeah. Having fun. Jeff Jarvis is here. Mike Elgin. Most and importantly, most Gina, importantly, Gina Trapani. Gina Trapani is here. Yeah. So nice. We're just going to keep <laughs> kissing your butt until you come back, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm loving it. <laughs> Thanks for the holiday gift basket, by the way. It was amazing. Oh, yeah. oh did Thank you get you. a mouthful? Yeah. I did. Yeah. I got a mouthful. Thank you. There's more coming. We have more gifts coming uh, your I've way. Got, right here, I just had the first one. What's you know, that? The, so good. That was the uh, peanut butter nougat with sea salt. Oh. I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have well, done that's, it. Well, I feel we felt a little bad setting these out because we know we're basically, you know, yeah. poisoning you <laughs> with, with yes. goodies. But isn't sure. that what the, what the holidays are all about? Yes, it yes. is. Absolutely. Yeah. Take, giving your friends things that are bad for them. Gluttony. <laughs> Gluttony. Absolutely. Okay. Good. I'm off the hook. Good. Well, I'm glad you got it. That's good. I'm glad yes, you got it. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much. Yeah, enjoy those. Uh, our show today brought to you by Blue Apron. You're lucky. We, we should send just everybody a Blue Apron box. Right. But then you got to cook. But that's part of the fun. I like to cook. You're a huge I love cook. To cook. Yeah. Um, there's something about making a meal for the people you love. It is. I I feel like, and maybe this is because that's how I grew up. But this, I feel like that's one of the best ways to show somebody you love them. And when you make them a meal that is special and unique and has wonderful ingredients, is healthful but incredibly delicious. It's just the nicest thing, one of the nicest things you can do for somebody. Blue Apron makes that possible by by get, setting you up. This this They're like your wingman, you know? They're setting you up with all the ingredients you need, fresh from the farm. They all use local farms. Fresh meats, fishes. They have vegetarian, too. So if you're vegetarian, don't. There's every diet need can be accommodated. And then, oh, my mouth always waters when I do these ads. Uh, and then they give you the recipe card, and you can make, in, in less than an hour, you can make an incredible meal for a loved one, for date night, for just a special occasion. This is amazing. They have family plans, too, so you can feed your family uh, with kid-friendly ingredients and so forth. It's less than $10 a meal. It's very affordable. Uh, each meal, about five to 700 calories a portion, and they're incredible. Stuff that you probably wouldn't even think of. You know, I, I know I find myself in a rut. I always make kind of the same five things over and over. But imagine spiced pork chops with charred poblano salsa and sweet potato mash. You know what I love about Blue Apron? Uh, two things I love about it. One of them is, the, you just mentioned it, the, the ingredients. They, they send you ingredients that, like, where would you get this? Yeah. Like, I have, I have no idea what sort of, <laughs> I would have to go find some but store. You, I figure, that's funny that you should say that, because I figure, oh, Mike Elgin knows what Faro is. He probably cooks with it all the time. I do know what Faro is, yeah. but sometimes <laughs> there, there's a lot of I call those the well, Mike Elgin ingredients. We, we, were like in the, we were watching the, the, the video here, and one of the ingredients was Turkish yogurt, okay? Oh, Turkish yogurt. What's that? Well, it's, it's you know, Greek yogurt is very thick. It's even yeah. thicker than that. Wow. And uh, I actually make, I do make Turkish yogurt, but most people, like, I never, where do you get it? I had, like, yeah. You can't get it. Yeah. You can't get good, but they'll just send it to you. Stuff from the, you know, the, you know. I've had the weird, unique bok choy. I wish I could remember the name. It was the best bok choy I ever had. Yeah. And uh, it was, it's completely unique. Yeah. Um, things like watermelon, radishes. Yeah. 
Um, I just, I, this is part of the fun of it. It opens your eyes to new ways of making things. Uh, this is Jason Howell making his uh, sh lamb shawarma. And the recipe was that shot really... with glass? Yeah, yep. was it? Yes, it was. it was. Yep. Nice. <laughs> get that, get the Google connection in there, of course, because he's using both hands. <laughs> yeah, it's um, perfect for this. So here's the deal. You can get two meals free to try this out right now at blueapron.com slash twit. Blueapron.com slash twit. And you really get a sense of what this is like. And I, I just encourage you to do it. And make it a special occasion. Get some candles. Some silver, some china, nice china, maybe a good bottle of wine, and make it a Blue Apron night tonight. Blueapron.com slash twit. You'll have fun there making it, it. Oh, man. man there it good. is. There's oh, the great. end. Now I'm hungry. Oh, Thanks, Jason. Oh, man. The final. Yum. And then the next picture wasn't taken because I was taking a bite. Yum. So, you know. And it made the glass fall off his head. It was so good. <laughs> So and I can't stand good. hearing people chew their food, so the glass, that would be a real problem. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a real problem. What is this? Step inside your photos with the cardboard camera. You can make Very your... Very neat. <clears throat> Very cool. Yep. Tell me about this. Very cool. So this... You're just making a, a, a panorama with, with the cardboard app, and then you put the cardboard on, and you can you can now see that it's it's, it's instant demonstration of, card, of, of immersive photography. But it's more than that because it actually processes yes. uh, 3D yes. from the 3D. video that you take. Oh, neat. One so it's that, creating yeah. 3D video with just your camera. So, so do it now, Leo. This is don't take your, well, take I have to Nexus. install it. I mean, yeah. I don't have it yet. So you have to view app. it within the app. Someday you'll be able to view it without the app. But right now you have to view it in the app. Well, you posted like, uh, that Star Wars uh, 3D immersive video clip, right? Or somebody did. Somebody Maybe did. You. I don't think Scoble, it was me. Might have been Scoble uh, on Facebook. You, there are places now you can see these. YouTube, yeah. Facebook. Yes, yeah, yeah. But the what's what's brilliant to me about this is, of course, Google has had uh, Photosphere for a long time, and right. people always take Photospheres wrong. The right way to take a Photosphere <laughs> is you hold the you hold the device in one place and you turn it like and you this. rotate but on the move. axis yeah yeah yeah, yeah like yeah. The, yeah. but th when you move a, a foot or so each time you yeah, take another sector in this app it's good oh because it gives you a slightly different angle oh. which gives you the stereoscopic effect this is all about a stereoscopic effect the illusion of 3d and depth okay and that's what's great about this and so you want to move it a six inches to a foot each time you take another shot, because you see the objects that are closer a little bit, you know, on this side of it, then you this side, and then it creates that illusion. So this is uh -huh. the, the cardboard camera as opposed to cardboard. Yes. Exactly. Been out for a while. Yes. Exactly. So okay, so you have to take it with the cardboard camera, this photo. Yes. 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 And, it, and it goes into your photos, and does it sync up to, to Google Photos and all that no, as, as any no. other photo? photo? You have to no. look at it within the app. So you have to use cardboard with this app to view it. Right now. It's Android only right now. So... I think eventually it'll be like that, Gina. It'll be something you can just, just post just go stand somewhere. up in front of in front Should of your desk and turn around and do it. Yeah, do it. All right. And it records sound too, which is kind of cool. Exactly. Does the sound move around? Oh, so the sound is on. So it says sound on. So um, will the sound? You better move? stand up. You better stand up to do it. That is. Oh. You're gonna have to do a full rotation all have around. To go all the way around. Well, I'm on a rotating a chair. Position. That's gonna be easy. Yeah. You you don't want you don't have to do a full photosphere. You can do a little brief okay. panorama. Oh, you can. Okay. You're after the stereoscopic effect more than the panorama Move effect. Move your phone smoothly to the right. It, it told me to slow down. I was doing oh, it in the airport. Oh, try again, moving more slowly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to rotate on the chair's axis. That's the key, right? The chair is going to hit the mic in a second. No. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Step one: get a Doctor Evil chair. Yeah, Step two. <laughs> but I am going to be wrapped Look at the up back of that thing. Uh, yeah, this is this is funny. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Be wrapped up in my headphone cord. Right. Oh no, it's gonna unplug. Oh, there goes. Cord. I can no longer hear Leo's about to unplug. He's no longer connected to the matrix. Okay. And done. Good. Okay. He can't hear oh. us. We can say anything we want well, to about him now. <laughs> oh, I, I spilled everything. Oh my God! It's all. Oh, the humanity! You destroyed the Pixel oh, C. Oh my God! <laughs> Keep it away from the power. I you hope got that Pixel C was it. worth this 3D oh. image. Jeez, Louise, Leo, wish you'd stop doing that. Folks, don't try this at home. Pretty much everybody. Sorry, it was I didn't know that was there. <laughs> this is a fun episode of Hands On right, Demos. Back in. Yeah, it's churning on this now. Right? Yeah, it takes a little bit. It takes a little bit. Not that long though. It's pretty yeah. surprising. Yeah, it's minute. almost done. It's done. It's, it's a lot of churning going on. It's computing. It's done computing. Yeah, see. Now what do I do? I have to put on cardboard put it to do this. Put it in the cardboard. I mean, I mean you don't have to. You can tap it on it. App, yeah. And just go like this. And go tap the cardboard button. Oh, and oh then, so it'll give me the cardboard. Yeah. And then that'll go away in a second. Uh-huh. And there you go. That's oh the Oh, my God. Oh, hey. 
way. Oh, my God. Yeah, so it's if, a, you, it's if you a, look at it in cardboard, you'll see the stereoscopic. Well, you may not see much stereoscopic because you didn't move off the axis, but... Well, well he did, though. Uh, you'll he see did. enough. He, he, he carved put it, put a circle in, the, go in ahead space. And put it in the cardboard because yeah. it's funny watching you It's not good TV to me watching me. <laughs> no, it's funny. Looking it's at something right. you can't see. That's not... Oh, I like that. And when you take your earplug out, we'll just make, make fun of you. <laughs> you should put on your headphones, though, with this, right? Because... Uh, yeah, you get the audio. You get the. Well, audio. you could do. I think you could. So you could record. What well, yeah, it is neat to have audio in there. I didn't know that happened. It doesn't really. I didn't know that. Happened. It doesn't really fit. <laughs> oh yeah, the old cardboard. Press harder. Oh crap. <laughs> what the hell? Where's your, Leo, where's your? Uh, what am I seeing? This is where's weird. This? I'm, what is that? I'm seeing the interface. You're seeing. Well, because you got it. Where's your view manager? You have a live view of it. I have a live view of the interface. That's weird. All right, let's do that again. Yeah. The, where's this? There we go. Now it's doing its yeah. right. Got it right. No, it went back. It's doing, you know what? It's the, the NFC's changing. Well, no, but what is it doing? <laughs> look at it's. Look what it's seeing. It's seeing, uh, it's, it's seen, got the it's menu. It's the screen of the app in 3D. He, he doesn't understand AMP. So I don't understand anything. <laughs> I don't know how I survive. Thank God I can breathe. And you and you run tech shows? What? What? what the hell? That's the same picture. Oh, yeah, I see. It's, this it's the other. VR interface. You could tap any of those when that menu comes up and Got supposedly it. jump right into it. So if I do this, <laughs> see it using a different viewer switch. Oh, you can do other viewers. Let's see what the other viewers are. We have so pair. you have to you could tap it uh, into the other viewers because I have the uh, Gear VR at home and yeah. All right, can I post this anywhere? No, nope. you it has to be viewed within the app. No, but can he share so, it with anybody else? Can I just uh, say yeah, I can I open know. the gallery? But what's you must gonna... be able to. Hmm. I think right now it's just within the app for you. I think there's something happens really? when I put it in the cardboard because it's looking good uh, right now, there. Well, what, yeah, what's set up? So you set up your cardboard app with a given viewer. You may have set it up with a later viewer. <laughs> See what I'm seeing? I'm seeing the. Me I'm seeing. I don't know. You have to open it. It's it's screwed up. It, what it, what it is is you're seeing a stereoscopic view of the app interface. Ah, interface. Not the. But that's thing not what talking. I see when I take it out. I see the right. Yeah. No, wait a minute. Now I'm seeing the wrong thing again. It's totally bizarre. But this 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 app. Um, it's a great idea. I'm it's sure. a great idea, but it yeah. also highlights the fact that when we the stuff we call virtual reality is actually lots of things. One of them right. is virtual reality. One's mixed right. reality. One's augmented reality. Very right. different from mixed reality. Uh, one is immersive video, we've, which we've talked about. I know uh, Jeff, this this is something you've talked about: the importance of differentiating between immersive video and virtual reality, etc. And this is stereoscopic photography. To it's different oh, from you're right. 3D from That's other. It's a new thing. It's a, it, it, kind of a new yeah. thing. I mean, the, those Viewmasters, that's what that was. Right. Where you look at, oh, here's Disney in 19-whatever. Right. So um, I just sent you the one I did in the airport, Leo, because if, if you, 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 could, you could go to the, to the image, you could open it in something else, you can open it in Google Photo, then you can share it from there. Right. Hmm. And then somebody can then... I think. I just sent you the one I did in the airport. <laughs> but can I get it... <laughs> All right, I'm not going to experiment anymore. This no. has not been my day for experimenting. <laughs> uh, I do want to play. At all, Leo. I do want to play a song through the Pixel C. We haven't heard the speakers <laughs> yet. Do you want to hear the speakers? I do. How about some hipster-approved classic rock? Nice. Fireplace. Oh, the biggest Christmas hits of all time, of course. So let's just play a little. Well, too many devices. Okay, sh heck with that. I, I can't because I have a limited number of devices. So. Uh, YouTube. I can do YouTube. I can do YouTube. I thought they. I thought I fixed that, but uh, apparently not. Uh, here's some YouTube uh, something. Let's play a YouTube. Funny cats. No. I want music. Who do you like? Who do you like on the YouTube? Gaga. Speak of the devil. Sure. Sure. Lady Gaga mix. All right. Now, how do I turn it up? Good question. With your finger, probably. There's no volume button on it. There's no volume on the side? No. There's not a volume button on the no. keyboard? No, I have to do it in the software, It's probably I guess. a something plus something. About control plus, uh, I don't know. Can you tell me, Jeff, would you look that up? Uh... That's what I'm looking for right now. <laughs> it's pretty loud, though. I mean, you know. Yeah, it probably kinda... doesn't get much louder than that. Oh, there we it's go. It's not the bassiest. 
Yeah. Doesn't sound as good as the iPad Pro by any stretch. Not even close. Yeah. yeah you probably would want to put headphones on. Uh, so there you go. There's enough of that. Sorry, Gaga. <laughs> Sorry, Gaga. Um, best apps and best games of 2015. You probably spent some time talking about this yesterday. On no, we actually didn't. All about Android. You did not? Ah, we didn't touch this one. Yay. That's you, weird. You go ahead and have it, Leo. Yay. You're giving it to me. <laughs> Aren't you sweet? Is it in the, if I go to the Play Store, will I be able to see this in the Play Store? Should be apps and games. Best of 2015. Here we are. Fallout Shelter, best game. Mobile Strike, Deer Hunter 2016. Clash of Clans, Crossy Road. Yeah, this is all what you'd expect. Candy Crush Saga, Panda Pop. These are like the, this is like just, you know. Greatest hits. Greatest hits, yeah. 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 Best yeah. apps, Color Flight Coloring Book. Haven't seen that one. Jet, that's the Amazon competitor that has no chance of succeeding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they have a great app. But yeah, wait, they're wait, trying, the and Google wants to give them a. These are all launched in 2015? We are proud to present the best of 2015 selection across apps, games, and entertainment. Check out the top titles of the year all in one place. It so, has to be stuff that's new in 2015. And by the way, when you press read more, it gives you the same <laughs> sentence, and that's all. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm, I'm just being a picky. picky no, but that's a good, what are the criteria? Because, no, I think Lightroom, did it? No, I mean, some of this... I don't. You know what? This is not a good list. This is like. Oops. Yeah, this doesn't look like a good this list. Is a, this is a. This is not HBO what you. Now, yes. Okay. But yeah, but they're yes. kind of. They're. Uh, I feel like this is almost a paid list. They're, this is just YouTube kids emphasizing yeah. kind of the junk, that's that is all over the app store. As every app store is full of junk. I don't know if it's best album, top sell, top selling. I understand. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. Top the, selling makes sense. Yeah, yeah. These are the best sellers, and of course, Adele is number like one. Most yep. installed. Top selling movies, it's, but it's not most installed. It's just best apps, yes. and best games. I don't know what that uh, top selling albums, top selling Adele's twenty five top selling album, top selling movie, Interstellar, followed by Lucy, American Sniper, The Interview, <laughs> 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 Fifty Shades of Grey, all four versions. Oh God, help us all! Top selling books. <laughs> Because you don't have you want, seen, have you seen Spotlight? Because you don't guys. want people to see you reading that. Exactly. You can read this on your Android device, and no one will know. Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades of Darker, Fifty Shades of Freed. That's kind of a spoiler it's title. Like Two hundred shades of. There's stuff. thousands of shades here. Um, our favorites on newsstands. Um, no, that's an ad. That's got to be right. Oh, yeah. Yo, our favorites. Yeah. Our favorites. The ones that gave us the most money. Why do they do this? Our favorite albums, Point. appropriately titled the number one favorite album, To Pimp a Butterfly. <laughs> uh, our favorite movies on TV, Dope. I never even heard of that. I oh, want to uh, see that. It's good? I, I don't know. I've, I've heard dope. good things. I hear it's dope. Far, Fargo's fun. I'm enjoying it Fargo. Is dope is really good. I enjoyed it. It's funny. Okay, it's but, but Jeff, did you watch last uh, Monday Night's Fargo? No. I saw it. Okay, just let me know after you see it. I don't yeah. know spoilers. Okay. But suffice it to say, it was surprising. Yeah. <laughs> it was a surprising moment. It was a surprising, okay. it was like, what the, I knew this was coming, yeah. by the way. Right. Because they had telegraphed this all along, but. Yeah. It was, it was. It was like, why? It was, it was, it was almost, in fact, now that you mention it, this entire show is somewhat, sort of, kind of like Twin Peaks. It is. Isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Very yes. Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks. Peaks peak yeah. Yeah. It's great. I mean, it's an amazing show. Yeah. I, and the first season was fantastic. Great performances. Especially if you love horrific violence, as I, as it's I do. It's incredibly violent. Um, yeah, just people get shot for no reason. Yeah, like, right. I, don't, I don't like how you're looking at it. Boom. Yeah. Since we're in this week in entertainment, have you guys seen Spotlight? No. Movie? No. 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 I'm, I'm, run. Go see it. See, everybody it's, says that. It's amazing. Everybody says that. Uh, I mean, I'm a journalist, so, so I'm nervous because uh, you know, you know, Lisa and I are looking at what to go see. Yeah, I think I mentioned this, and uh, Spotlight 99 on Rotten Tomatoes. Everybody says go see it. Yeah, it's about priests and the the yeah. Boston Globe's investigation uh, of priests. It's all about the investigation and right. and, and molesting uh, bo uh, children. Yeah. And it's like, uh, well, I don't that uplifting Christmas entertainment. I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just I couldn't we couldn't bring ourselves to see it. Yeah, it's. I, I had the exact really same well. thought. Do I really want to, you know, it's an and end I hear of the it's day. great. 
Yeah. There's no moment. There's cast. no. There's no moments of priests and little boys. There. It's like wood. It's like. Uh, it's like all the it's president's the, men, all the president's right? Men. It's like exactly. Yeah. It, it's it's they a were, journalist like a, uh, uh, going after a cover up, and yeah. and the the depiction of journalism is supposed to be amazing. Yeah. Real. Re very realistic. Give me gratuitous bloody violence any day. Anytime. Yeah. It's like NBW. <laughs> <laughs> what I did watch, have you all seen the very Murray Christmas, Bill Murray Christmas special all directed right. by yeah. Sofia Coppola? No. No. Did you, but, 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 <laughs> you, can, you, can you, can you, will you get kicked off the air if you, if you play um, Miley no. Cyrus's? She was very good. Oh, she was great. Yeah. Um, there were, it's just weird. It's, it's very um, weird. It's very weird. But the interesting thing, here's how we're going to make it appropriate to the show instead of just a television review. I was, I was waiting for this, yeah. <laughs> is this, well, it's a Netflix original. Mm -hmm. And it's yes. very interesting to me that Netflix basically is saying, well, we're going to do what television has done for years. We're going to do a Christmas special, but it's not going to be Perry Como. Right. It's, a, it's, it. it's a hipster, you oh. know, oddball thing. Right. But it's still an hour-long Christmas yeah. special. Yes, it's a yes. TV for the show. fireplace and all the rest. Yeah. Oh, Amy Poehler? I watch anything with Poehler. She's got a small role. Everybody's got a small role. That's what it's, that's it's Bill Murray making I mean he's he's mocking the they're mocking the form. Yeah. And they can do that. And it's kind of a little like um uh I mean Sofia Coppola is reunited with Murray to yeah. make this, and it's kind of like Lost in Translation Part yeah. Two. Yeah. Uh, Sophia's husband uh, is uh, has a French rock band that's very strange, and uh, Buster Poindexter is in it. Yeah. David Johannes, yeah. jo uh, uh, what is his name? Johannes? David jo uh, Johansson. York Johansson. That's of New York Dolls fame. He's been he's seen some uh, things in life. His life, it's kind of yeah. <laughs> it's very weird, but it just shows Netflix ambition. Yeah, right? I mean, right uh, and and you know what? They need to because look at Amazon's ambition in mm -hmm. this realm. Have you talked on this show about the most recent episode of The Good Wife, which is really about Google and algorithms and who's to blame when algorithms are racist, when they're based oh, on... Oh, no, this is data. not the autonomous vehicle one. This is the no, one after is, that. So oh. basically what happens is that the there's a a restaurateur who has a restaurant in a, in a predominantly black neighborhood in Chicago mm -hmm. who suddenly her business dies, she claims, because it was this, this uh, chum hum... Uh, site which right. is Google. He's been around the chum the chum home guy. Exactly. It's kind of Facebook meets Google. Right. They add a yeah. new feature yeah. that says, well, here are the you know for driving directions, here are the areas you should avoid. <gasps> and they said that her entire neighborhood should be avoided Whoa. when you're driving around. Whoa. And therefore, she lost all the you know traffic for people who are going to a restaurant. And then they went into the, the really lengthy, very savvy, very intelligent courtroom conversations they do that about really well. where yeah. Do, yeah, what's racist are algorithms racist no they're based on user feedback well what are user who are your users your, your users are 90 bunch of white people exactly so it was really really good really good episode that's it very on, interesting yeah, it was on the now, even google knows that that is not that's the third rail there they're not yes. touching that yeah exactly yeah yeah but it makes it for a good tv show interesting yeah. I'll, I'll have to watch that we're so far behind we have two years to go before we can get there <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I put the Miley Cyrus, if you care, the Miley Cyrus song is in it. No. I'll save it for the end of the show. Okay, we'll save it. <laughs> We're behind. Uh, yeah, I just want to, there's a few extra stories I want to run through here. Gina, uh, gosh, you only hear once a month. Please bring up anything <laughs> yeah. that you want to talk about. Um, I will. It's your That's... show. How about the new emoji? You like those in 6.01? You know what I like? I want to stop getting the stupid box with the cross. With right, because everybody else has those emojis. Ugh, it's so frustrating. I, I mean, I don't know if I just like hang out with a lot of iOS folks or what, but I just I feel like half the emoji I see. Yeah, no, we are all those, do. The box. So I just want to see those go away. We all have to live with those damn iOS folks. It's so, like it's like the green bubble thing. Yeah, like, ugh, that makes me crazy. So there's uh <laughs> there's new food options like pizza, and burritos, Chipotle. There's a burrito. Jenny Eight Lee, Taco. who used to be the New York Times, who's now at Hack Hackers. Yeah. She has a campaign to get uh, the dumpling, <laughs> as a, and, and, and it's hilarious because she yeah. dumpling. She actually she actually went to uh, she's now on an advisory board for the emoji board. She went to the meeting of the emoji board. It's that a bunch of boring, you know, old white bureaucrats. It's hilarious. I like the scary clown emoji. Wait a minute. Holy huh. cow, there's, I never saw that sushi, one. There's sushi, though. Like, there's, there's a variety. There's always been sushi. They had sushi because it was sushi Japanese, Japanese originally. Yeah. The problem was and, they didn't have... 
American totally food. passe in Japan, in Japan now, They're right? They're passe <laughs> with everybody because stickers are the, are the thing now. Stickers are the new hotness. Stickers are the new hotness. <laughs> now, of so, course, the emoji culture comes from Japan, and I saw an article go by that says talk. in Japan they're done with emoji. They're right. like It's completely falling yeah, out. Nobody cares about those. Yeah. Pooh's honey jar. That is that new? It must be. I don't remember that before. Uh, and then there's the middle finger. Uh... And there's uh, now does how does Google handle the the different color? No, they, I guess they don't have the choices of uh, different. Yeah, that's not different that's not part of colors, it yet. Huh? Uh, oh, they have the different skin tones. Everybody's yellow. It's like I like that. Yeah. Um, where's the hands? Where's the fingers? I want to show stuff oh, I can't yeah. show on TV. <laughs> Just because I can. Are there any new sports in here? What is that? Does anyone know what that is? What the hell is that? Uh, that looks Japanese. Mahjong has always been there. Yeah, yeah. So there's a few new ones, yeah, but this is the Unicode set. This is just finally adding to the operating system what has been in the Unicode set for some time. I, I just put up a picture in the in the chat of Jenny at the uh, taking a picture of the meeting at the actual emoji meeting. <laughs> She's so, so great. What is this? So there's the International Emoji Committee. What is this? Yeah, there's a oh yeah, there's a whole <laughs> they hold yeah, their entire it's, meetings it's, with emojis. They act wow. them out. I, I love it. So she went demanding dumplings. That's yeah. great. So look at look at the what? look at the t shirt. This is why there's a problem. Standard emoji <laughs> shadowy, shadowy emoji, emoji overlord. overlord. Shadowy. Oh. <laughs> now we know. They have some humor about it. Now we know who this shadowy emoji overlord is. There is the middle finger. Right above. <laughs> There's the middle finger. My my greatest hope and wish for emoji is that everyone implements Slack's uh, emoji reactions. Exactly. So that it's not just star or heart. You know, right. you you get to react. No, but that's why stickers are great. Yeah. I have in Telegram a whole set of Donald Trump stickers that correspond to standard emojis. So I can put I can put a little Donald in everything I. I send. Call me old fashioned, but I think people should just write words and just forget about <laughs> no. emojis. This is the new nonverbal speaking. And by the way, I just uh, learned yesterday, I think, that uh, according to science, science, Leo, yeah. if you use a period in texting, yeah. people think you're a jerk. Yep. So I've stopped doing it for the last 24 hours. I've not Who used Who are these people? Because I think you're a jerk yeah. if you don't. I just, just roll, figured roll that a period goes at the end of a sentence. I just am I, brought up that way. My kids oh, told me that. you're a jerk if you do two spaces after the period. No, that is jerk. Yeah, that, that, well, yes, that is a jerk. <laughs> that means you use typewriter. If you indent the first line of a paragraph, that's jerky. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of no. jerk would do that? My kids, though, told me 10 years ago, and I would put punctuation in upper and lower yeah. case and stuff in my text messages to them. They said, why? Are, my, they, they mocked me. What are you yeah. doing? <laughs> What are you? This I'm is writing, kids. I, it's called well, writing, yeah. and you'll know you're very old when you put it all caps. Oh, yeah. which my father does. Really? Oh, yeah. Well, they're not texting. He doesn't text but an email. He puts all caps. Oh. He's always shouting. Hit, hit that caps lock key. Yeah. <laughs> Streaming. I, I think emoji brings emotion to, to the conversation. I agree. I'm the, pro emoji. It's what's missing from text is very hard unless you're a great writer like Mike and Jeff, and then oh, you can put nuance in in into text. The only emotion I get is confusion. Like, I, like, what are they trying to tell me? Like, it's code. I'm like, what? Do I have to look yeah. it up? Like, well, what is the, the new Oxford English Dictionary word of the year? Is is this yeah. emo, this with the is a publicity this, the stunt? The, the what? What is it? It's not a shrug. No, it's oh, the isn't it the crying? It's, it's the, the crying. yeah, the crying happy tears. Yeah, it's a, no, it's not tears coming out. There's Tear, tears of joy or something no, like it's that this. Now. It's hands with things coming shooting oh. out of your head. Here, I'll find it for you. <laughs> That's because, the word of the year. Yeah. I oh, I just love one. <laughs> well, they don't totally put you know trolling. they don't put it in the dictionary. They don't actually have. Yeah. Uh, so here so it is. Oxford's, here's tears of joy. Tears of joy is the technical name for it. No, no, that's not it. Is that it? Oh, that is it. I'm. I thought it was the uh, other oh, one. Oh, that one, right? Yeah, everybody right. knows te what that is. Tears of joy. Um. But how dumb is that? It's a publicity stunt. They want they want the press that they in fact I think got. This is it, though. It's not a word. It's not a word. They can't put it in the dictionary. Oxford. I thought it was the the one with the hands. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. 
So I'm reading a book now about what watch, watch out, it's drinking drinking game time. I haven't done this in a long time, folks. Gutenberg. Um <laughs> Uh, Damn, I didn't have their whiskey ready. Imagine communities. And and the argument about how long it took printing to take over was because Latin was the primary language of printing until printing started to go into the vernacular. And Latin had been the language of the bilinguals. So to get a big enough market to, for printing, you had to put it in Latin. So then when the market spread and people started reading, then you could put the books in the vernacular, and that's what spread it. And in a way, it strikes me that, that emoji becomes a new kind of bilingual language, mm. in a way, mm. right? Sorry, that was a weird... No, but it is. I think you're that. right. It's, it's But it's more expressive. That's, I think, what Gina was saying, lingua too. franca. Yeah. yeah. It is, but, but there's, I mean, there's definitely times when people use certain emoji, like, within certain communities, and, and it means a thing. And, yes. like, and there are definitely times when I'm like, yeah. I just don't know what this means. Like, yeah. But you could say the same thing for acronyms. There are acronyms right. that I look at, and I know, Absolutely. oh, well, that's... You know, for a long time, I didn't know what YOLO was, and... Right. Everybody was using yeah. it, but I wasn't in that kind of crowd. But you, you know right. it's preferable, though, to everybody going to a post, <laughs> a post-literate symbol system is if we all just had the translation services that Google has, that Facebook has, on by default. Like right now on Google+, Plus, you can just hit the translate button, and no matter what the language is for the most part, Arabic, whatever, it just translates it in English. I'd love to have the default be just translate everything. Every, make everything in English. And then for the people who speak a, a, or prefer another language besides English, they would see it in their language. That would be a great way. Why don't we use the amazing, amazing translation services that now exist? It's like we, we've solved this problem that's vexed mankind since the beginning of time, and people are like, ah, eh, whatever. Yep. Have yep. you ever wondered what it was that convinced Google to buy YouTube? Susan Wojcicki, well, say her name. Wojcicki. 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 But there's an extra C in there. We're ignoring yeah, it. Yeah, but you have she to decide to ignore it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Susan Wojcicki's favorite video. This was the video. She was overseeing Google Video in 2006 in charge of acquisitions. They were considering YouTube, which was tiny, an unprofitable startup, ready to be sued by everybody and their brothers. NBC was just yeah. bearing down. Universal was bearing down on them. Uh, and she stumbled upon this video of two boys lip-syncing the Backstreet Boys. And this was at Fortune's Most Powerful Women Next Gen Summit. Um, and this was the video, she says, that made me realize that, wow, people all over the world can create content. They don't need to be in a studio. A light bulb went off in her head six months later. She led Google through the $1.65 billion acquisition, which I think we can all agree was a great acquisition. Yep. And this is, ladies and gentlemen... Oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> two, uh, two Chinese boys in Adidas tracksuits. Behind them, uh, by the way, a guy playing video games. <laughs> what, I think what, it's Counter-Strike. What amazing bragging rights for these guys, though, right? I was the reason that, that I think Google bought cut. YouTube. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. You know what? Susan yes. really did hit it right there. That's the, in yeah. a nutshell, yeah. the essence today still of right. YouTube. I hope these guys got some, uh, you know, Google sweatshirts or uh, stock or right. something. I love the guy playing Counter Strike behind. <laughs> yeah, I know, like totally could not totally care less. That doesn't care. It's so well, great. But what What's really funny is that people doing this sort of thing are now making millions of dollars a year <laughs> <know>. on <Yes>. YouTube. <laughs> wow, these two are really, really going for it with this with this Magic Boy song. What and what was What's interesting is that they, in 2006, these are the guys you should hire at Google because yeah. they saw in 2006 what would become a massive industry. Yes. Surely no one else was doing this kind of lip syncing thing and or anything. <laughs> Where did they get this idea? And why post it to something called YouTube? These guys are hilarious. I wish you could see this, folks. It's... They're really. I thought that this was going to be like two, like little, like toddlers. Yeah. These are these are. No, grown. they're college kids. I did say this looks kids. like a dorm room or something. Yeah, yeah. I like the matching tracksuits. What year? What year was this? Two thousand six. Six. Well. Almost ten years ago. <laughs> okay, you you can't see this at home, but believe me. It's, if uh, you if you search for Nitro X Unit All One, how'd you find word? that? Uh, They're still around. Nitro X Unit. That's their channel. Uh, actually, I, uh, maybe that search doesn't work. I'm getting some. Yeah, don't search for that. A lot of people have hijacked it. <laughs> oh, of course they have. <laughs> I don't. Wow, three minutes and thirty eight seconds of, uh, of Backstreet Boys and uh, Is there one point six. Uh, really... No, because they nobody just BSB is the only yeah, thing. Yeah, and that doesn't bring you anything. 
Um, and if I click this, it's going to bring it to YouTube. So Nitro X Unit is the channel. See, it was uploaded April 11th, 2006. And then, of course, the comments. And they are quite a few of them. Not awful. Go, go to my Twitter feed, Mike Elgin, on Twitter, and the link is there. So See, this directly. man, he knows what he's doing. By the way, 764,000 views on this video. Yeah, you so think that's, it'd be, yeah, you that's think pretty it'd be, good. And half of them Google shareholders going what i am glad to see that google has a added uh in kind of response to apple a family version uh family price 14.99 for all google all, all access music uh up to six people right just like the apple thing and you get youtube red that to me makes google uh play yeah. music the music choice if you ask me yeah because um, you so everybody in the family gets ad for youtube gets the music stuff Plus, of course, uh, well, and you saw, and, and five devices, because <laughs> I can't put it on my Pixel, because I always have more than five Google devices. And they're, what they're doing is they're setting themselves up for a situation where YouTube Red becomes a, a, a television uh, yes. sta uh, channel, essentially. I, but um, they missed a bet. They could have had that yeah. very Merry Christmas on there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. There's, uh, there's well, yeah. When will Google, this is this is the debate we always get in. If Google will were a real content company, it would have commissioned, yeah, something like that. They need to yeah. get serious and start doing that, right? Yeah. Well, or or no, then you'll just scream louder that they're that they're in channel conflict. Well, I didn't say I would be happy about it, but that's yeah. what they. <laughs> uh, this year on Twitter, the traditional post every year from Twitter, the big hashtags. Um, is Google Zeitgeist up yet for 20, 2015? They changed the name of it. It's not Zeitgeist anymore because that's their uh, conference. Right. So it's... Um, Hashtag, of course, Paris Attacks, Black Lives Matter, Marriage no. Equality. There's a lot of recent stuff in here. There's the only thing about... Uh, we have the same problem with our year-enders. Mm -hmm. You tend to do the stuff that's recent instead of... Yeah, because you remember it. Yeah, you remember it. So, by the way, twit.tv slash best of. If you remember something from earlier this year, we'd love to love to get your input. Yes, please. For our best of. Poor Jason has to put this all together. So, Paris attacks, of course. Black Lives Matter, of course. That was huge. Tweeted 9 million times in 2015. Uh, marriage equality, of course. Huge. Um, they don't say how many times that was tweeted. Refugees welcome. Oh, That's brand new. It was love wins and marriage equality. Yeah. Uh, 370,000 tweets for I Stand with Ahmed, the kid in uh, in Irving, Texas. National elections. FIFA, the World Cup, Women's World Cup. Pluto flyby, that's good. They should tell you, though, how many tweets on all of these, and they don't. The dress. Yeah. <laughs> wasn't that, that wasn't that wasn't this year that was, that was yeah, like it was year. it was in february, february. Yeah, that's it feels like it lasted 4.4 4 4 million right. tweets wow seems like ancient history yeah. and then caitlin uh jenner joining twitter uh they don't mention the potus joining twitter but that was another big big event wasn't it looks like youtube just posted their youtube rewind Oh, yeah. Uh, Should we watch that? As well. All right. Tell you what. Let's watch the YouTube Rewind, which is their, you know, compilation of a uh, bunch of stuff from, um, is it under t trending? Yeah, of course it is. Uh, of YouTube uh, stars and videos and memories from 2015. And then we'll, uh, actually, I'll save it. You know what? We'll run it as the end of the show. How about yeah. that? Yeah. And, and one other thing about Twitter that I think is worth mentioning that's fairly recent is that Jeff Bezos started uh, tweeting. Yeah. His, his first third one, tweet. All right. His, well, he's done four now. And oh. the, the last one was he said, finally trashed by the real Donald Trump. We'll still reserve him on a, a seat on the Blue Origin rocket. <laughs> and somebody pointed out that 25% of all his tweets are about Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> the hashtag send Donald to space. Next year, let's have that be on the top yes. list. How about that? Uh, by, by, by the way, Hillary, note that she responded to Trump yesterday on Medium, which I find fascinating. Huh. Oh, my yes. God. The Medium yes. juggernaut marches on. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It's become the place. Twitter's the place for the offhand response. Yeah. Medium's become the place for the thoughtful, mm -hmm. full-length response. I guess Ev Williams, who started both, yeah. probably is thinking, oh, we need a long form and a short form. Uh, yeah, yeah. And my, my brilliant ex-agent, Kate Lee, is in charge of getting famous people to write there, and she does a great job. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. 
Well, she has a prof. She has like a, a medium account. Like she's she's like yeah yeah. Well, she's got a team, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, son Jake is working for Hillary. In really? New Hampshire, in New Hampshire, yes. Oh, wow. that's a, that's good for him. Good yeah. for him. That's great. It's you know what that's uh, I think the, the do you think that the candidate who does the best job with social media will be the well I was thinking wins. about this so you have Joe Trippy you know Howard Dean's campaign manager who wrote a book famously saying the revolution will not be televised and 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 the, and the complaint was you know it's all commercials and huge amounts of money and blah 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 the paradox here is that this incredibly rich guy Trump comes along and he's not spending any money. Yeah. He's made a campaign. He's he yes, he's he's done it off television. Yes, he's done it with social media, but he's the evil one. And and uh, well, media is giving him all this free stuff. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right, all right. I know we're I don't think gonna... it's agreed that he's the evil one. No. Uh, <laughs> he no. is a candidate. Some people are like him less <laughs> than know. others. Let, let everyone know that Leo was trying to defend from horrible <laughs> political tweets and such that will follow. No, but but I, I don't think he's a priori the evil one. He's well, one of, well, wait a minute. It's wait big, a minute. So yeah. what, there's, there's other people in the his running. Most con <laughs> his most controversial thing is he said when American citizens who are also Muslims go on vacation, they shouldn't be allowed back in the country. That is evil. You can't yeah. deny access to the United States poor, by poor law. Poorly, I was trying to citizens. avoid this. This is like no, this I'm not. Like I don't mind. Dinner. I don't mind. I mean, that was please, Uncle Joe. Don't talk about. And Trump. by the way, no. that's what Hillary Clinton's piece in Medium was. It says, yeah. "No, Donald Trump. We're not barring Muslims from entering the country." But the point is, may, is absolutely true that Donald Trump has shaped the discourse yeah. by adept use of not of not media. just new media, but mostly mainstream media yeah. and so, and somewhat of social media. He's very adept at Twitter and it, of language itself. I mean, he's he's his style of speaking is is very. Uh, Soundbite friendly. Well, and it's interesting Very. because of all the candidates, if you look at their, what is the analysis they do for grade level of uh, their writing and their speech? Is um, it Flash Kincaid or? Yeah, some, yeah, yeah. Flash, that's it. Uh, he, according to Politico, Donald Trump's speech is third grade level. It's by far the lowest. Yep. But of course, if you're intelligent, uh, and you know that you want to reach the electric, yeah. electorate, I would think that's probably a, a good way to uh, do it. Yeah, this is the Flesh Kincaid grade level uh, test. And for the record, uh, Ben Carson, Mike Huckabee, Scott Walker, eighth grade level. John Kasich, the next lowest after Trump, fifth grade. But Ted Cruz is ninth grade. Um, I, I, let's see if they have Hillary Clinton in here and some of the other candidates. It looks like it's all the Republicans. But, um, hey, you know, you want to reach the largest uh, audience... Well, but but it's also I think it I think it, the the grade level is a byproduct of the fact that he he speaks in absolute superlatives. Yeah, yeah. everything is either the best or the That's worst. That's what they say. And short blocky words. Yeah, and he links short blocky words into Emotional other short blocky short words blocky to create words. short blocky sentences, which he stacks into short blocky paragraphs. <laughs> Uh, it's but and and by the way, there's a rhythm and yeah. a music to Donald Trump's speech. It's actually hard not to watch his speeches right. because there's a very musical rhythm to it. There are others who are adept at that, like mm, I don't know, some fascists I could name. Yeah, the other thing that's interesting about just just, just as a word nerd and a, a language geek is it's he he does an, uh, something that's common in rap, like Eminem does this a lot, where he'll just say something outrageous, but before you can even process it, is on Moves the next on. outrageous thing. Very smart. He always says, by the way. Right. After he says something that's like, wait a minute, what did you just... And you, you can't react to the first thing because you're already trying to process the second thing. And Listen so, to this. This is uh, him. Uh, well, this is just... This speaks for itself. But he does exactly that technique in this little soundbite from... Uh, this was actually in the same speech that he said Muslims should be banned from entering in the is United the States. Is the internet one? Yeah. I don't know. It's hard to hear. But... A lot of people because of the internet. And we have to... He says... Losing a lot of people because of the internet, and we have to do something. We have. To I love this. I, actually, I, I'm sorry. I just want to get this so that you can hear it. It's not very loud. Yeah. This is this is somebody on Twitter. The only record apparently that exists of this MSNBC stream <laughs> is somebody who held their camera kind of at an angle. Losing a lot of people because of the internet, and we have to do something. We have to go see Bill Gates and a lot of different people that really understand what's happening. Wait a minute. We have to see Bill Gates and a lot of other people that understand what's okay. To talk to them, maybe in certain areas, closing that internet up in some way. Somebody would say, oh, freedom of speech, freedom of speech. By the way, now, 
boom, just as you yeah. say, very adeptly. Yeah. Somebody should say freedom of speech, and then immediately, right. Foolish people. We have a lot of foolish people. We have a lot of foolish people. Fair. I mean, repetition. I repetition. The, repetition. Yeah. yeah, repetition. But mm -hmm. I don't think he's calculated. I frankly think this is how he talks. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think this is some sort of he's like some evil genius plotting this stuff. This is just how he talks. Yeah. You got to close that internet up somehow. Got to close, close it up. up. And it doesn't matter if you can't call Bill Gates to close the internet. <laughs> <laughs> as, as there were great, there were great tweets that said, "Oh, Bill Gates tried." Uh, that was Internet Explorer 3.0. You know, there were a lot of, a lot of good jokes about that. <laughs> but, but uh, anyway, um, I don't know what they're. I, don't, I didn't want to go down this road, but yeah, we, sorry, that's my fault. I, no, I it's okay. Uh, it's Actually, with AMP, couldn't Google close up parts of the internet? <laughs> <laughs> don't want to. Don't open that one again. There you go. <laughs> there you go. By the way, Mark Zuckerberg did respond uh, to um, uh, the complaints the, about his. No, yeah. no, this is this. Yeah, he did respond to that. That's last. That's all news. We're talking Muslims here. This is a really nice little post. Yeah, this is about an hour ago on Facebook. I want to add my voice in support of Muslims in our community and around the world after the Paris attacks and hate this week. I can only imagine the fear Muslims feel that they'll be persecuted for the actions of others. There's a very touching article. Uh, I think I can't remember where I saw it about Muslim school kids and the questions yeah. they now have to face every yeah. day in school. Did you plot 911? Are you part of Al Qaeda? Are you in ISIS? As a Jew, my parents taught me we must stand up against attacks on all communities, even if an attack isn't against you today in time. Attacks on freedom for anyone will hurt everyone. If you're a Muslim in this community, as the leader of Facebook, I want you to know you are always welcome here and we will fight to protect your rights and create a peaceful and safe environment for you. Having a child, he's been he's been spending a lot of time mm -hmm. with uh, Max. Yeah. Having great a, picture of him with Max. I yeah. saw that. Wasn't oh, that great? Oh, God, it was, it was melting. Having a child has given us so much hope, but the hate of some can make it easy to succumb to cynicism. We must not lose hope. As long as we stand together and see the good in each other, we can build a better place, a better world for all people. As, as someone said, I don't know who it was, I saw this, said, he's talking like a, like a statesman. Yeah. He's, he's, he's that scares really me a little bit, but he, but you know, he has a seat at the table. He is invited as, as uh, you know, our other executives. But, but I think at this well, point, there was also a story in the New York Times today about how, um, how social media is used by by ISIS and such, and how Twitter can't stay ahead of it today or yesterday. Um, and by the way, not just Donald Trump is saying shut the internet. We've got we've got all of them are are, are trying to attack. Um, yeah. Not just social media, but also encryption. It's a very scary moment for how the internet ought to work versus how some will use this to well, fight the proper internet. Today, our, our beloved senator from California, Diane Feinstein, reintroduced uh, a measure, a proposed bill uh, that would um, require tech companies, including Facebook, Oops. Twitter, and YouTube, to alert federal law enforcement about online uh, terrorist activity. This is a of course, bipartisan bill. Um, Democrat Feinstein and uh, Republican Senator Richard Burr of North Carolina insist the bill doesn't mandate the companies monitor customers or take any additional action, only that they report potential terrorist activity. And doesn't that well, exist? Isn't that law already, in essence? If you are a witness to a crime... Well, it, it, they say it's modeled after an existing law requiring them to report online child pornography. And people have pointed out that, you know, they are doing that. Yeah. That does happen. Yeah. Uh, and uh, quite effectively. I'm a little nervous, though, about putting the uh, tech companies in charge of spying on right. their users. Well, I feel like that is a risky road. It certainly is. And, and, and I, I, you know, let's let's face it. I think that if you were to, if I had to bet my own money on who's going to win the presidency, it's probably going to be Hillary Clinton. But apologies to Jake. Here's a Hillary Clinton's statement. Uh, yeah, she I said, know. Oh, she said I, you're going to hear all the usual complaints, you know, freedom of speech, et cetera, et cetera. That's kind of like that's what Trump foolish, said. foolish, stupid, foolish people. But if we're truly in a war against terrorism, we're truly looking for ways to shut off their funding, shut off the flow of foreign fighters, then we've got to shut off their means of communicating. No. It's more complicated with some of what they do on encrypted apps, and I'm well aware of that, and that requires even more thinking about how to do it. So she's yeah, a little more open-minded about it, but still. But still a scary language. But, but, but I think what both of, both Trump, what all the candidates are tapping into is the popular notion that why are terrorists being allowed to use international means of communication 
to plot terror attacks? That that's I think I think this is a huge question for a lot of people, and that, that all this nuance about encryption and like all that kind of stuff is just lost on the public. It's uh, you know it's so tempting uh, when horrible things happen to look for kind of superficial solutions to yeah. it and. Um, uh, you know, we all we all want to take action immediately, and of yeah. course, that's when you make the biggest mistakes. Is when you just leap into action and say, "Well, let's fix this. Let's fix this." Um, or this is the problem, and if we just fix is, that, if we the just fix that. Yeah. And I think it's a much deeper problem, frankly, terrorism. And I think if you're going to address it, you have to address it at its roots. Gina, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, so part of the Times article argued that 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 Twitter is is missing some simple stuff. That it goes from you know. ISIS terrorist account one to ISIS terrorist account 10 to ISIS terrorist account 15. And geez, they just figured that out. Or there's certain photos. Um, in, in, as, as you know how to analyze Twitter, how hard do you think it would be? Because the argument is, well, we, they, they can't keep up. They can't keep up. Um, first, how hard is it to find it? And second, because accounts are killed indeed, if I'm going to look for this stuff, how come it's so easy to find it? Doesn't it take it a while to kind of propagate socially? Um, what do you mean for, for anyone to find? Yeah, if I, if I, so I want to go in and I, today I decide I want to join ISIS because I had a bad day at the office. Um, right. right. <laughs> if, if accounts are being killed, 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 how do I go to Twitter and suddenly find the latest of 8,700 uh, ISIS accounts? And, yeah. and well, that's one thing I think the Times kind of missed. Yeah, ISIS can create a new account, but it doesn't have any followers. Yeah. Well, exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. It, doesn't, it has to propagate socially. Well, but we also don't know yeah. how, to what extent uh, people are being contacted privately on Twitter. Right. And and it's invisible. You can't search for it. But like you know, there's a lot of one to one in the recruitment effort. You 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 know, they they, they are monitoring Twitter for people with certain under certain conditions that are uh, feel alienated in certain ways that are certain ages in certain countries and then they're contacting them and and you know if people are already muslim for example they can relate to them as a muslim and start talking to them and sort of lead them down this uh path uh and you can't find that by, by searching if it's private yeah i mean look i you know i think twitter and the, these kind of big social networks have created these elaborate systems for detecting spam, for detecting child pornography, for now getting better, helping people combat, you know, cases of abuse and trolling. I mean, I think a lot of the same principles would kind of would, would, would come into play. Um, I mean, I think that people have to police each other or not police each other, but call out, you know, you know, keep an eye on each other, you know, versus putting the, 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 the toll burden on the company itself, give, give the community the tools it needs to help mm -hmm. itself and to say, this seems a little bit off. Um, you know, what, what, what can we, what can we do about this? The way that you would, if you, you know, met, a, you know, a chi you know, a young child, a young person in real life and you thought, you know, I'm a little bit worried about this kid. Seems a little lost, seems a little distant, seems like, some, you know, maybe some things aren't going so well. I, I know it doesn't easily translate into the, into, a, you know, it's social network online. And, I, and I'm not saying that it's easy, but there, you know, there is some precedent for this. Um, and, um, you know, I think, I think that we can, you know, it's about empowering the community to help themselves. And I think, you know, it, it is in some way about, you know, watching for patterns and, you know, evolving, you know, spam constantly evolves too. Right. But like, we've right. pretty much licked that problem. Is, why you, isn't Twitter you, doing talks. a better job though, of finding and suppressing these accounts? I mean, the times point was, well, they're just incrementing by one. Surely Twitter could yeah. observe and figure this out. They've well, always like, tried like to hit on the stage. Is it that they don't, standard. is it that, yeah. is it that they, the Twitter doesn't want to get in this business? I don't, I think they're afraid, more afraid of erring on the side of, of censoring uh, yeah. content that shouldn't be censored. I mean, you can imagine it's a fine line. Oftentimes people post things and they're actually being sarcastic or, the, or, or they're, they're mocking or they're something. And it can be taken by people as being in favor of the thing they're mocking or being cynical about. And so it, it's that, you know, language is, 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 uh, can be subtle and sometimes it's difficult uh, to tell whether somebody's just exercising their right to yeah. free speech or whether they're recruiting terrorists, for, you know, or whatever. I mean, it's, it's, it, it seems like an easy thing to do until you try to do it and then the devil's in the details. Right. In this case, literally. Oh, uh, yeah. Or Krampus. Yes. <laughs> Krampus. Krampus is in the details. That's what I hear anyway. Yes. Let's take a break.
I'm so depressed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when we come back, we'll talk about AMP again then. No, Thank that'll you. cheer me up. <laughs> Our show today brought to you by FreshBooks. I love FreshBooks, and they get better and better and better. I love what they're doing. We've talked about them before. Uh, I first started using them more than 10 years ago when I was going to Canada one week a month and had to invoice them for uh, my time and my travel and my expenses, and it was just a pain. It was such a pain. I mean, I had first, I mean, they needed, they wanted it in Canadian dollars. That was like, okay, i got to figure this out. i got to fire up Word. i got to fire up Excel. I'd put it off for months. And, of course, if you're a freelancer and you don't bill, you don't get paid. So that wasn't a good idea. Amber MacArthur told me about FreshBooks. Nice nice Toronto company. They just started up in 2004. Uh, they helped me do these invoices, and they're getting better and better for freelancers, for small businesses that need to do invoicing but do a lot more. This is a simple, super simple cloud accounting site and program, uh, you know, program as a service that's giving thousands of freelancers like you the tools to save time billing, get paid faster, create and send invoices in minutes Watch expenses or you're going to have to start using this, Mike. I just I, realized. I've, I've been using it. Have you? I, I have for the columns that I that Oh, yeah, because you freelance yeah. with the Computer yeah. World and... Yeah. Who, what magazines do you write for? Uh, so it's Computer World, uh, Baseline, CIO Inside. Yeah, place. it's a yeah. bunch of others. And, of course, on Computer World, I'm actually syndicated with an IDG, so that's PC World and all the rest. And then pretty soon you're going to be able to bill them for travel expenses. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, one of the great things about FreshBooks that I really like is, you know, one time they, they automatically send this perfectly formatted invoice. Right. And you can say, I oh, just send it by email. Boom, off it goes. And um, and there's a by the I, way there's a pay me button which is awesome. Yeah, they, there's all kinds of yeah. stuff. But I, I I like the really simple things. One of them was I, I sent it to a different editor one time, and they said, you know, actually I'm sorry to ask you this, could you please send a PDF? I just prefer PDFs. So I went back to Fresh Books, clicked the PDF button, so and they easy. got a perfect PDF. Yeah. I mean, it's like I didn't I need PDF it. software. I didn't need to no. mess around with it. It just happened. So easy. And then of course, if you have expenses, you can. Use the FreshBooks app to take pictures of the receipts, get them right into the invoices. By the way, time and hours, if you bill by hours, the, the, the app will do that for you. And again, put it right in the, in the, um, into the uh, invoice. They've got some new features, which I really like. Uh, there's something called deposit. You, you, can, you can get paid up front. So if you cover costs out of pocket, you know, and, uh, or you've got a, uh, ongoing expenses, you can request a deposit in FreshBooks. Your client could put money in there for you, which is automatically dispersed. That makes it so much easier. You don't have to wait to the end of your project to get paid. They have now a card reader. Maybe you saw this in the news. So uh, you're a freelancer. You can even accept credit cards wherever business takes you, right from your iPhone in less than a minute. The FreshBooks card reader is a, a EMV chip card enabled, which is what everybody wants to use now. It works right out of the box. You just open your in. This is so cool. You open your invoice from the FreshBooks app. You plug in the reader, you dip the chip or swipe the stripe, boom, they paid you. Mm -hmm. Man, if you're a contractor, if you're in business for yourself and you go out and you do work and you want to get paid right away, I expect to see this a lot now, you know? I just think this is so great. Yeah, but of course, if you have questions, help is forever free. You can always count on their support rock stars for the best support because they're nice people, actually. They're really great people. Um, I want you to try it free for 30 days. You're going you're gonna to see an amazing amount of stuff you can do. Freshbooks.com slash twig. Don't forget to enter this week in Google when they say, how would you hear about us in that form there? Start your 30-day free trial today, and we thank Freshbooks so much for uh, making my life a lot easier for so long, and uh, Mike's too, yep. and for supporting our uh, shows. Freshbooks.com slash twig, T-W-I-G. Um. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just feeling good about this Chromebook Pixel. I've got it all set up now and installed all well, my apps. I still want you to type, uh, 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 like a, like a type something sentence. with a right. couple of returns. See how it feels. Oh, yeah. you okay. really is made it your own now. Oh yeah, nice. see, that's the first thing. I, I mean, I, but you know, I install so many new app, uh, uh, Android devices that I use Nova Launcher and I, I save out my layout. And of course, this is a tablet, so it's a little bit different, but. Um, I, I know how I want it, so I'm able to get the widgets I want and everything just ready to go. Um, but I, I will. I'll do some typing in a second. I, there, you know, some one of the complaints is that there aren't uh, tablet-specific apps. Um, this is Google's uh, uh, Play News app, and I think that they've done it. You know, Google at least has kind of made something that works pretty well. Let's see what. Um, in fact, this looks great. This is this is. We've talked about that before. Let's see how about the New York Times. If I go into the New York Times. 
How's that going to... Yeah, so there's a lot of white space in the column on the right there. Uh, I guess they have to leave room for Zoo Lily. That was the ad hadn't loaded. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Uh, well, that's, you know, the front page was nice, though. I think the Times does a nice job of that. So they're, um, they're, I guess they're a little bit tablet savvy, right? They, they the use Time the Time Review says it has volume buttons, Leo. And they're easy to reach. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How could you not have a volume button? Uh, that bothered me. No, they're, they're, yes. Thank you, Time. For telling me how to use this, uh, let's see how a Flipboard uh, works. Yeah, I feel like so. This you said you said Gina that this is the layout stuff that's built into. I should sign into my um, here. Hide my uh, hide my screen for just a second, Jason, if you would. Thanks. I'm gonna log in to. Uh, I like the keyboard. I really like having a keyboard with. Oops. Uh, whoops. Uh, with a tablet, I, I found that with the, the iPad, it's just it's better than having to use that on-screen keyboard. Yeah, I have adored my Nexus Seven, and I still do. Yeah, F and Flipboard looks pretty good. Yeah, this is a good. I think this is a good replace. It's a lot bigger than the Nexus Seven. It's a lot obviously. bigger. It doesn't yeah. fit in the pocket anymore. But yeah. but as a way to watch movies on the plane and stuff, it it, it does look. Uh, oh, that's nice. Yeah, it that's looks perfect. really nice. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Android, you know, has all the support there. You, you There's this a concept of fragments where they're basically modules and you right. can define, you could be like, once you once you surpass this threshold of a screen size, then use this layout uh, and you define, you can define those layouts and, and just they're just, mm. you know, XML files. It's not, it's really not that difficult. But, you know, I think that developers also, you know, focus on, who, you know, who's using their stuff, right? If they're not seeing, if a developer's not seeing a whole lot of tablet use, mostly phone use, they're right. going to uh, see that Instagram login. Look at that. <laughs> Look at how stretched that is. Yeah. <laughs> so now that works, right? But it looks a little wonk, like yeah. wonky. Like um, you look at that and you go, hmm, that doesn't, that doesn't look like it's going to work really well on the tablet. Even, even Google now, which is, I mean, I, it should be, because this should be a three column layout. I mean, there's plenty yeah, of that, space Yeah, that could here. be, that could be three yeah. column. I mean, um, you, you're also, your device could be kind of right on the edge of the kind of standard for defining yeah, you know, what you should be calling. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I presume, yeah. oh, this is... Uh, this That's is, a nice uh, grid. Yeah, this is uh, Google+. Plus. One would expect this to be uh, And that optimized. is three columns. Yeah, that yeah, is three columns. Nice. But Plus has always done that, right? It's been responsive. Um, this will be a nice yeah, Google+. Yeah, well, look, Plus that, that one yep. spans the two... Uh, yeah, that's nice. And there, of course, Pixel C communities... Oh, yeah, immediately starting up, right? Yep. Um, somebody said Slack. There are a few apps that don't don't know that you're in portrait mode and you have or landscape mode and you have to flip oh. it around. That's oh. not good because on this device, that's uh, you can't, you know. Oh, really? Slack? Oh. That's well, I think they said Slack, but uh, I'll have to. I think, you know, uh, this people should adjust to this, although it's not the first time tablets have been here, is it? No, I don't know. Slack goes landscape on, on a six. Gina, do you have a tip for us? Yeah, you know, my tip this week is kind of the big, uh, the, the biggest new feature addition that, that Google's had really this week is, which is reminders in Google Calendar. Oh. Um, so I, I obviously, I make a to-do list app. It's pretty, pretty lo-fi, uh, but I've always been sort of fascinated by how, by how Google has really danced around to-dos. Like they never really had their own task app for a while. They had tasks inside of Gmail and then they had keep, which has check, check boxes and reminders, but isn't really a to-do app. Well, they just added uh, reminders, which are basically to-dos to Google Calendar, which means that you can say, you know, hey, I got to, you know, call the florist and it'll add this reminder to your agenda, to your day. And if you don't get it done, it'll automatically roll that reminder over to your next day Good. and you can swipe left to mark it as complete. Um, and these reminders are actually the same reminders that you set up in Google Keep, and they're the same reminders that you can set up in Google uh, Inbox. So these nice. are across all of your kind of your Google apps. Um, it's got that little hand with the with the uh, you know the finger with the the 
string tied around it. So they're calling them reminders. They're basically, though, it's a task list. I mean, it's a to-do list. And it's got all that kind of nice Google goodness where it knows, you know, if you're saying you need to call somebody, it'll look it up in your contacts. Um, it'll kind of autofill the phrases. It's really pretty smart. Um, so yeah, that's reminders. And that's in the new Google Calendar app or the latest version of the Google Calendar app on Android. I believe it's Android only right now. So there it is, to-dos on your calendar. To-dos on your calendar. Yeah. It's very cool. Mr. Uh, Mike Elgin, you got a tip for us or a trick or a toy or a tool? I have a tip. I have a couple of tips. I have three tips. Um, and we all know that Google Plus was recently redesigned. It was The redesign was a mixed bag in general. Yeah. They favor brand new users uh, and kind of uh, did it in a way that isn't great for a long time, hardcore a diehard user. So a lot of the hardcore users are complaining about the redesign. There are three things that really bug me about the redesign. And, uh, I, and I have workarounds for them. So the first thing is that Google used to have by far the best search uh, on any social network. Not surprising. It's Google. Uh, and uh, they still have vastly better search than Facebook. However, I would rank Twitter now as being having much better search than Google Plus after the redesign because they now don't let you sort by time. You can't reshuffle it so that the most recent post is at the top, which makes it useless for certain types of searches. And so they'll show it, you know, ba the ranking based on relevance, and that's the only option. It's a terrible thing. I think they need to fix that and go back to the way it was. But the workaround is that you can do the search, and again, this is a kludge, on Google Search. Oh. So go to Google Search, use, use site uh, colon plus dot google dot com, and then put your search before or after that. And you can search for anything. And you can even with it, you know, if something's posted seconds later, it's available on Google search. That's interesting. And you can sort Why by. Why they put that into Google Plus? That's know. crazy. I don't know. It's so frustrating. Okay. Yeah. The second thing is, and that's a, that's kind of an old fad. That's just an idea. We already know how to do site colon searches with that operator. All right. The second thing is people are complaining that circles have been de-emphasized. You launched it here a second ago. And of course you saw a world of communities. Uh, so it's all focused on communities and collections. Communities are Reddit-like uh, areas where it's all focused around the topic and anyone can post. Uh, uh, collections are based on the person. So each person has their own collections. And so you can opt out of certain topics that people talk about. For example, if you like to follow me about tech, but you don't want to hear my endless uh, see my endless po pictures of food, you can opt out of my food and drink pics and you just get the tech or whatever. That's what that's what the collections are. It used to be human focused and the content was secondary. Now it's content is primary and the humans are secondary. People miss circles. So it used to be circle based. Uh, if you miss the circles and you want to bring back the circles, it's very, very easy to do. And here's how you do it. You go into settings from the left bar, click on settings. Then you go into advanced settings down at the bottom, near the bottom of the page. And under advanced settings, you'll see a thing that says enable circle stream in navigation. Just throw that switch and then look what happens over on the left. You now have circle streams. Oh. You click on that and there are all your circles. Click on those and you are now looking at the stream of those circles just like before. So I don't know why they bury this. I understand why they're not emphasizing, but don't bury it. Is there a way just to get rid of circles? Well, if you don't want to follow people, you can. I mean, you can just, you know, you can, everybody in the you can follow, throw them all in the trash and just have no, uh, be following no one. Uh, no, but I want people. I just don't want the, I, and you can see I've overdone it. I've, categories up my categories yeah um i just like i wish there were some tools you can delete any circle, circle management tools well you can go into people nice. there uh, on the on the left yeah. and and you can manage your you know those your, are all the people yeah and you can circle right and you can delete circles you can move yeah. people around and all that kind of stuff you can still do the things that you used to be able to do but they've de-emphasized it right. and they want you to think about it in terms of your passion so if you're into legos you they want you to be focused on the lego community and right. your lego collections and other people's lego collections and that's the organizing principle, and they don't want to confuse you with too many options. So they've hidden circles, kind of. Right. And so, anyway, that's that's a way to bring it back. And I recommend everybody do, do that. It's nice to be able to have friends and family and, you know. Yeah. Uh, in, in, in our case, Twit staff and et cetera. Right. Okay, now the third tip is um, going to be less useful for everyone. Y you, in, in comments now, you can't do good moderation. You, they used to auto flag people using their algorithm saying, oh, this person's a spammer or a troll or whatever. So they would hide it in a certain area where the person who did the post could go and unflag it and bring them, restore it back into the community of 
of, of comments. You can't do that anymore. Once Google says something is a spammer or a troll, that's it. Oh. It's terrible because I get, you know, the false positives are off the charts. Right. I get so many you comments that are a great yeah. comment. Yeah. You know, they, they should be trying to drive engagement, not stifle it. And people don't even know that their comment has been flagged. Right. Nobody can see it except the person who posted it who thinks everybody can see it. Uh. It's terrible. So there is no solution to this. There's nothing you can do about it other than complain to Google. And so I'd like to, I'd like to get together a, <laughs> a, a, mo a mob of people with torches and pitchforks <laughs> to go rush Mountain View and say, give us full moderation again. We want to be able to restore or have perfect algorithms, which you do not. Once you have perfect algorithms, fine. And we don't need but it. until then, let us restore people who have made perfectly good content comments. So those are my tips. Three Google tips wow. and one Three. request. On. I like wow. Google Plus. I want it to succeed, but I don't yep. care if it's a small, <clears throat> tight group of, yep. of involved people. That's what I want. That's you know, what, love you know what? A public post it's on Google tool. Plus is a page on the internet. It's like a medium right. post. Doesn't you want matter. to look at it that it way. Yeah. And I, I personally like the idea of having comments all in order of when they were posted at the right. bottom rather than the medium process of being able to cherry pick every little, you know, having the comments in the... That's a Post thought, though. I feel like um, it would be nice if it looked as good as Medium. Maybe they need a display, an amp version of their display. <laughs> well, if you're going to do amp, Google, do amp. Do amp. Do it on Google Plus. Where else? Uh, Jeff, you have a number, but before you do that, I know you also want to mention this job posting. Thank you. you. Have. Yes, it's a big deal for both of us. We're as 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 most of you know by now. We're going to start finally. We're going to start the Twit uh, New York outpost at CUNY at my school, and we're going to produce a weekly Twit show on the New York's tech sector and the exciting life here. I love this and idea. I'm so I have excited. money from a grant, and I need a producer. I need our Jason. And so this person will work full time from January through May to get the show going and get the set and, and do some prototypes and stuff. And then after that, become part time ongoing producer and board op and everything like just like Jason. This person will go to Twit HQ to learn the ways of Twit. I have one good application so far, but I need more applications. And so I, I did a short URL, bit.do slash Twit NY. That's B I T dot D O slash Twit NY. Apply yourself, uh, tweet it, uh, Facebook it, pass it on to friends. Uh, if you're interested in podcasts and want to be in the leading podcast company on earth, and if you are interested in the tech scene, then it's a great gig. And so I wanted to plug that first. And nice. I can't wait to be working. Yeah. We're so excited. Yeah. And, company. and I know there are a lot of so you cool. listening who uh, live in uh, the area, in the New York area, would be, I would think, be very interested in this. And so. Gina, you'll be coming into the studio. Oh heck yeah! I'm gonna yeah. be the right there. I'm so excited about yeah. this. I have yeah. I have a very long list of people that I want you to be on the show. Oh, oh this Dude, is gonna that's be exactly so what I want. And starting with you, and then this is be an awesome uh, show. we could probably do the show from this show too, from the studio. Somewhere. Yeah, I think this is well, your new like uh, this is your new studio. Well, you can do it either way, but this is yeah. this is you have the option. Uh, if you're at work, I did. Familiar. I did require that we we outfit everything in hangouts only, no Skype. But other than that, you like <laughs> as long as the lights stay on uh, during the show. I think this is good. If <laughs> that you can convince them not to have that auto off switch, right? Yeah. yeah. Jeff, do, you, yeah. do you have a host in mind, or are you still are you He's the host? host? I, oh, I'm going to start off. Host. I'm oh, going to start please. off, and we'll have we'll have rotating hosts. That's why you're going to be coming to the studio, Gina, because you're going to yeah. be. Here. I'm going to get Absolutely. you too. Absolutely. Oh yeah, and I'm then, right there. Uh, Obviously, I hope to find some brilliant new star, and you know, who's so good that the the public says, "Get Jarvis off." Get that person. I know they say that now on this show anyway, but no one you. says that. When you say rotating host, you don't mean like Leo with the Google Cardboard. That's, right. Right. That's, right. That's not what you mean. If you Round. have a rotating host, make sure you move all obstacles out of the way before they start rotating. That's <laughs> my all right, so a number. <laughs> a number. The number is one nine eight one. 1981. That, 1981. Uh, Karnak, 1981. That is the address on Landings Drive in Mountain View, California, where there is now a public Google swag store. <gasps> wow. What? I've got a uh, new... Oh, that's awesome. So you can now go to the Google swag store. It used to be you had to have a Google employee take you in. 
and had, they had to stand there and be there with you while you go around, you know, debating whether awesome. you want to play this T-shirt or that T-shirt, and now you can go there. And out, right out, it's, it's, it's typically, it's Google understated in a weird way because it's just an office block, and there you walk in, and boom, there's a store. And I said, people come in here? Yeah, they can come in here. Um, and outside are all the uh, Android um, uh, mascots, so you can pose with pictures with, you know, a marshmallow. Are they? Uh, oh are wait, the big like the big, the big official ones. statues. They're, the big ones are right outside. Oh, it'd be better yeah. if it were like Times Fish. Square, where it had people right. that kind of dirty marshmallow. Yeah, <laughs> <outfits. laughs> yeah. Freelancers. Freelancers. That'd be so much better. As the one oh, hey, the they, I'm Kit Kat. Old... Nobody ever wants to take a picture with me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but here, the, the, have, the, a the, have a Kit Kat. Have a Kit Kat. The naked Kit Kat. I'm a Claire. How do you think I feel? <laughs> <laughs> That's the topless eclairs. Poor That's it. That's this. This eclairs nudus. So uh, they also had a corner in the store where it said, you know, get the old Google buy buy a piece of history. Get the old Google logo. Oh, nice. Um, and I I also had to go I, as me as a Facebook. Are so they had clearance on the old Google logo. They did. They did. And uh, but I also got the new Facebook logo too. Ah. Uh, so I now I'm up to date with my swag with my Google. Uh, you, now the Facebook everywhere. store is not open. Uh, this is the old Google. I buy. I buy my swag. By the way, I bought this. The old Google. Over there. I never did get that uh, Android beanie I ordered from. Really? Far, far away. Every time oh, I see that... your icon with it, I go, "Hmm." Was that a? Um, did you buy that from the store? Or did you buy that? No, from... no. It was where was it? It was like someone. It's somewhere... Kickstarter, probably. <laughs> somewhere far, far away. So anyway. Uh, oh, now on tap. Oh, anyway, yes, 1981 Landings Drive in Mountain View, California. Just to get the so They moved the statues. Look at that. Huh. Yes. They, Did they, they move the them there? They had yeah. to, right? Because the statues used to be in front of the, oh, the Android exactly. building. Yeah. And I'm looking at Maybe they made right duplicates. Now. They must have made duplicates. Maybe they made duplicates. Yeah, yeah. No, this is this is great. This is so people, people as, I, as I walk up, people are there taking selfies with, with uh, the Androids. With the giant Androids. Yeah. 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 Very cool. Well, my Makes pick sense. of the week would have been this uh, Chromebook, uh, or rather Pixel C uh, Android tablet. But uh, I guess we, I'm, I mean, I don't know if it's a pick, but uh, so far I'm so I'm happy. It's obviously the Android tablet to have, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. If you got the money, go for it. I like this. I didn't realize I could do that. That, that, that I could have it at any angle. I think, as Mike nice. says, on a, on a on a horrid knee capped, awful economy seat. Yeah, It'll, well, just the right size. Yeah. All right. What fun this has been. Thank you, Mike Elgin, for uh, coming in and being part of our show. I hope you will make a regular habit of that. I hope so, I hope too, so too. Yeah. You're just a Love natural here. You belong here. This is a great show. Right. This is a great show. Uh, and Gina, you notice those what we did here. See, we, we yeah. went the show so long. It's like doing three shows. You might as well come and do the other show. <laughs> I should. I, that's it. I should just come in every week. It was wow. a long yeah. show. Yeah. You know okay. I was having so much fun I didn't even notice. <laughs> Good uh, Lord, we almost hit two and a half hours. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I say this to people. Yeah, we talk about Google for two and a half hours. You what? No. <laughs> uh, oh, it's so hard to explain to anyone. Like people, like all about Android, same thing. Be like, what do you talk about? Well, it's this uh, mobile phone operating system. And they'd be like, what? No, it's <laughs> us getting together, having a good time is what it is. That's people what say all is. video is going to be short. It's going to be six seconds. I say, no, actually, it could also be two and a half hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it could be. Uh, thank you, uh, Jeff Jarvis, buzzmachine.com. He's a professor of journalism at the City University of New York. Don't forget bit.do slash twit. NY. NY. Bit.do slash twit. NY. That, put that in there for the uh, listing for that job at uh, CUNY. And yeah, I think the best, I think a nice perk is you get to come out here and spend some time. You get with to go us. to the brick house. Get yeah. trained by, yeah. by brilliant producers. Gina Trapani has two fabulous efforts. Of course, there's ThinkUp at ThinkUp.com, a great place to go to uh, sign up and get your uh, analytics for your social feeds, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. It's We're doing best so of good. 2015 right now, just like everyone else on the Internet. Oh, so, uh, yeah. Well, let yeah, me log in. My, thank you, Gina. I got my, I got my uh, uh, notice from you. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're doing best of 2015. We count all the stuff that uh, Twitter analytics and Facebook insights doesn't count. Like how many times you use exclamation points, how many times you mentioned yourself, <laughs> who your bestie is. <laughs> uh, so it's a lot of fun. Check it out. Can we get that for Donald Trump? 
<laughs> we should. I, I I would love to do a Flash Kincaid actually analysis of people's tweets. Although I feel like it's not so too fair because tweets are all your so tweets true. are done bad. <laughs> um, uh, my my Facebook bestie Stacy Allegro, Pilates instructor. My Twitter bestie, Simon Zarafa. Not a surprise. Hi, Simon. <laughs> my Instagram bestie. Don't know who he is, Nigel UK1962, but apparently he liked a lot of pictures. He's a fan. He's a fan. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, all of the great analytics. This is just, I love this, and it looks good. It really looks great. Thank you. Now, you also have MakerBase. That's MakerBase.se. Yes. It's actually MakerBase.co. The, the, the domain name God smiled upon us. And someone took pity on us in our .se. And we, yeah, we moved to .co, which is, which is much easier to say here on Twig. It was, it was specifically for Twig that I wanted to move away from .se because I hated saying it. MakerBase.co. That's MakerBase nice. MakerBase.co. Yeah. That's yeah. great. Find all uh, your favorite projects. And this and, is free. And Anybody can do it. In fact, everybody should do it because the idea is you go in there and you talk about who makes the stuff you like. It could be you. Yeah, it could get, be somebody else. Get, get and give credit for what you make. Get and give credit. Excellent. Makerbase.co. That's great. Yeah. Thanks, Leo. Can I go to thinkup.com slash Donald Trump? J the, what is it? J Donald J. <laughs> Trump? What is his... He's Real Donald Trump. Real Donald he Trump. Is, he is yeah. not a. He is not a user. So unless <laughs> you're a user, yeah. you don't run the analytics. Oh. No, because we we ask for access to you your, have to have permission. your friends. Yeah, Donald, yeah, yeah, yeah. we want to know. <laughs> we want to know who your bestie for 2015 is. <laughs> you can go back in time, right? If he signed up today, we'd know from the past. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. go. You could go back depending on the API limits. So, it's but anybody could go to anybody who's a it, like you can go to thinkup.com slash Leo Laporte, even if you don't know me, right? It's it's Leo Laporte dot thinkup.com. So if you uh, set it to public, which I think I think yours is public. Oh yeah, public, I'm public, yeah. Uh, people can yeah. see it. Yeah, you can set it to private if it's a private account or you just don't want people, other people to see your insights. It's yeah. up to you. So you can't, wait, wait, Gina. You, you can't, can you just analyze Donald Trump's feed? Yeah, what don't do you ask his him? permission. Yeah, you yeah, I, yeah, we we could, we could. The the we built it so that people opt in, um, because oh, Gina, you know, <laughs> with, with you're no fun. Such a goody two shoes. We, we can do a, we can do more. At some point, we kind of had you know one of our open source contributors kind of kind of forked think up and made it so that you could just enter anybody's. But you're, then you're using using different API calls. They're a lot more limited, and the insights yeah. just weren't as good. And yeah. you know, it wasn't where we wanted to go with the the turnkey solution. So. Uh, may, I, may I suggest a product though? Four years ago, is that as part of just 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 pick celebrities and and do it to them? No, that's I mean, yeah, that, yeah. right, right. No, that's yeah. it's a it's a good point. It's really a good point. There are other services that do that, and actually, it would be really interesting for for Trump and all the other candidates. Oh, mm. would it ever? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Just do a candidate one. Duh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There no, you that go. Would Smoking the beer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, that would be very interesting, mm, wouldn't it? I think some journalist should just come to you and solicit your assistance in this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hint, hint. Thanks for the idea. Great to have you here, Gina. Thanks for it's being here. Great to be here. here. Thank you. Visits. I love I love doing right. the show with you guys. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. We do this week in Google. It's my last show of the week, and I, it's a great way to end the week for me. Uh, middle of the week for most people. Uh, all you have to do is tune in Wednesdays. At 1.30 p.m. Pacific, 4.30 Eastern, 21.30 UTC. You can watch live. You can be in our chat room at irc.twit.tv. But if you're not watching live, uh, you can always... Uh, and by the way, you can also email tickets at twit.tv. We have a very nice lone visitor today. But if you Hi, got, visitor. Hi, visitor. Hi, He's visitor. He's waving back. But if, uh, if you can't watch live or be here live, you can always get it on demand after the fact at twit.tv slash twig, youtube.com slash this week, and Google... You know, and then on and on, uh, iTunes, everywhere you get your show, Stitcher, Slacker, Apple TV, Roku, everywhere. Just look for Twit. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on This Week in Google. Bye.